Werewolves! Yay! <laughs> Welcome in, my friends. Welcome in. How are you feeling about the wear of the wolves, the wolves of the wear? Wolf howl howl. <laughs> ah, <-woo. laughs> I'm very excited, honestly. I'm very, very excited for werewolves. You have no idea. Like at first, like I wasn't okay. Like at first I wasn't excited because I'm like, okay, we're getting another occult. I don't want to have occults in the Sims 4. They're boring. But then I'm like also thinking to myself, wait a minute, this might be the opportunity for some new gameplay that might be good. Cause I mean, I like the, I like the vampires from the Sims 4. And so like if werewolves are like it, then I'm like, okay, I'll be okay. I did. Okay. I've been literally tweeting, editing, uh, hosting stuff all day. Like I'm not joking. It's going to be so exciting. It's going to be literally so exciting, but it's going to be a base game update. It's going to come into um, the base game, which is really, really cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a patch update before the pack or like afterwards. I think they're going to do it afterwards. I'm thinking you don't really care for werewolves, but I want everything else in the pack. Okay. Me like, you know, you, you know how much I love debug. I did a trailer reaction today. So if you didn't see it, I posted it on YouTube, but like, I'm not joking. I'm so obsessed with debug that I saw so many good debug items in there. I'm like, okay, I can use this. I can use that. Like, I mean, I saw some logs and some cars that I could use that I'm forever going to be using for the rest of my life. And Rebelica, welcome in. How are you doing? And Mango Tango, welcome in. How are you? Welcome. Miss Alicia, welcome in. How are you? Carbon Cole, welcome in. I'm so excited. Did you hear all, Did you hear the announcement, besties? We're getting werewolves in The Sims 4. And I'm very excited about that because... This gives us an opportunity. That is not how you spell Google. Um, but this gives us an opportunity to really dive deep into like the whole like side of the Sims for a cult, especially with vampires, I find. Madeline, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well and swell on this fine evening. It doesn't feel like it's it's Thursday. It feels like it's a I don't know. It's crazy, but werewolves. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. But we're finally getting werewolves. It's about time. So if you haven't seen it, um, it's on their YouTube channel. But like also the cool thing too, you can actually pre-order. Um, pre-order the uh the pack as well. I'm still waiting on some of them actually. I'm still waiting on, on uh some of the giveaway codes. I'm gonna email them again. I'm gonna follow up on that um but i'm still waiting using the table and chairs and little camper kit little kit looks good with the grunge items right that's what i was saying because like i i was reading on about how some of the items from the new pack looks like it could be for the little campers kit as well i mean honestly this looks epic yeah you can pre-order the game pack now if you want to yeah and you're doing great. Your little your cousin's birthday is on the 12th and you're excited. Oh, exciting. I'm so excited for your cousin then. And also I'm doing good Madeline today. We're going over the, the going over the, not the leak. The leak is not, it's, it's been out already. Um, but we're going over the, um, the werewolf game pack trailer and stuff like that. So, yeah. So that's exciting. But love to so welcome in. And yeah, I know there's an ad playing right now, so I won't show anything besides this until it's over. Um, but Peach, welcome in. How are you doing today? I'm really, really excited for the game pack as well. Honestly, I mean, New World, like we already like suspected we were going to get werewolves ages ago when they did their roadmap or whatever. So it just it was a matter of time, you know. Oh, that's not good because I just spent money last night on House Slipper and two DLCs. Dab, why? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. But yeah, we're getting a new telescope and everything. We're getting a new, a new gnome. Aware gnome. That's exciting. 
I mean, honestly, this makes me more happier than anything. Like, you know how the, like, the Sims 3 toddlers werewolves would interact with, like, everything? They would have werewolf tendencies. So, like, what if the Sims 4 toddlers get werewolf tendencies as well? I mean, that's going to be exciting. But yeah, we're finally getting a small telescope. That mirror looks fantastic. I am very pleased about that as well. I was so jealous and I wanted to play it and I'm addicted. Good. As one should. But this is like so cute. Then all the new hairs, everything that's coming with this pack is going to be epic. I think that ultimately I'm more excited about the fact that we can have different types of werewolves rather than like one type. So getting like more variety like this one or like this one right here is pretty nice. I actually have a screenshot that I can show you. This is better. Um, of like the different types that you can probably get in create a sim. We can really customize them however we want based on like what we're kind of trying to go for. And it seems also like, you know how we can like decorate our dogs and cats in the Sims 4? I'm assuming it's the same way with werewolves. Um, but yeah, I know, right? The diversity in the trailer is so good. Yes. Yeah. Diversity is important. Diversity is key. And yeah, we're getting scars as well. A lot of people thought they were tattoos, but no, we're getting new scars, which is so nice. Like, I'm so happy. <sighs> uh, I even like how all the clothing is. Like, I'm very, like, honestly, wholeheartedly very excited about the clothing. And, like, the, all the makeup, too. Um, did I see the, the puffy sweater? Which one? Oh, this one right here? I did. And yeah, we're getting it in two weeks. And there's also supposed to be a live stream on the 10th of June. So that's literally in eight days. I'm repeating myself, but the guitar. Oh, from that one scene? Where did it go? Oh, it's not in here. It's in the stinking trailer. Oh my gosh. But yeah, the, the guitar is going to be very, very exciting. And Carter, welcome in! Uh, you said you could never cover them with silly jellyfish. <laughs> you can try. Oh, you could. You could cover them with a silly jellyfish. That's true. You can try. But will it look good, though? That's what I'm curious about, though. I mean, honestly, I'm pumped. Jokingly, John and Tyler, welcome in. Hello, hello. But I'm more excited about the curly hair. We're going to look at the trailer as well. I'm going to pull it up. But, um... I'm very, very excited about, like, literally everything that we're getting, especially the fact that Vlad has his face scratched out is kind of funny. So, I mean, kind of hilarious. Oh, here it is. This is better. Where is it at? Oh, this one. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. I don't even know who Greg is. I honestly feel like Greg kind of reminds me of George Cahill or the Hermit from Granite Falls. Like they're very mysterious and suspicious about everything. So that's what I think Greg is. Like an angry elder werewolf who's been around for like decades and he's had like this reputation or like or I guess they had their, this reputation of being angry and mean and the huge, huge alpha that you don't want to mess with. So I find like Greg is like an old elder werewolf, like one of the elders, you know. And Faye, welcome in. Hello, hello. And yeah, this is giving me Vampire Diary vibes. Yes. Like I'm honestly so, so excited. This is actually all the screenshots from the trailer. So this will be easier to look at. Um... I have to say the animations for them transforming from humans to werewolves is actually pretty cool. I was I was expecting it to be like something different. Coupon nut, welcome in. You didn't know the Vlad scratched out? You know they have a feud. You're so glad tomorrow's Friday. Same. Friday's always like my favorite days. Wait, who's Greg? They kind of mentioned Greg like a few times in the blog post, but they didn't really explain it. They just said, like, watch out for Greg. You don't want to, you know, cross path with him. So they didn't really explain it as much. It was mostly just like, be aware of Greg. 
to, to have spending money like it's free. I can't believe this. Um, oh, that would be so cool. Turning Greg into Klaus Mackelson. That'd be kind of cool. Greg's like, get off my lawn. <laughs> but you have a point. Um, I did hear about the link, but I didn't see it because I don't want to, I don't want to like spoil myself of like things. Um, I heard like there was two different leaks. One about like all the items and stuff coming with the new game pack. But then I also heard about the survey, which honestly, I feel like it's fake. I feel like the survey thing is fake because everything else is in order based on release date. But then the whole thing about the high school thing, it just doesn't seem real to me. I find. So I want to, I didn't want to get my hopes up with like theorizing and what could be in it, you know? Yeah, it's possible to pre-order on, I sh it should be able to pre-order everything on every uh, platform for the new game pack. Should be. Oh, wait, this is so cool. Look at all these different types. Not me just leaning in. <laughs> like learn about Granite Falls Hermit. I mean, well, technically, the only way you can find the Hermit is going through a secret um, passageway in Granite Falls. It's on the 50 by 50 lot, that far, far back lot. And there's like this small little um, door you can go through. It's like one of the hidden worlds. Never mind. I got to play Animal Crossing instead. <laughs> Mood. What's Animal Crossing? I feel like I've abandoned it for so long. Oh, here's another piece of the hair as well. You love how much of the clothing is in pack? Same. I am very <laughs> I'm very curious to see like what, um, like how werewolves will interact with the other occults. You feel like it's fake too, not gonna lie. Yeah. You didn't hear about the survey, may I ask what it's about? It's kind of mainly um, a general survey of like, how do you feel about these packs? Mainly, that's literally all it is. Just made to understand, like, how do you feel about this pack? And there was, like, one other one that wasn't really new. Um, you didn't play with Rose in The Sims 3, so probably not going to play in The Sims 4 either. Just not your gameplay style vibes. But super happy for those who are who do. I'm the same way, Coupon Nut. Like, I... I like werewolves. I kind of did and didn't wear, like, werewolves in The Sims 3. I guess I just didn't play with them that much to fully understand them. But I'm looking forward to see what they look like, honestly, at the end of the day. But that's how, I, that's how I've always been. I didn't know if I was really going to be interested in, like, any occults in The Sims 4. Um, who knows? I really don't know why they showed this werewolf peen, like, marking their territory. I mean, that's just, like, honestly, the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Justin Mango, welcome in. Hello, hello. And I am having a great stream today. We're checking out the no, the whole new trailer screenshots and stuff and talking about the new werewolf game pack that's coming out on the 16th of June. Um, a new way to PM. Is that restricted only to werewolves? I mean, honestly, it'd be kind of rude if it was restricted. Think about the children. Think about the whole, you know, human simps. What if they want to do that too, huh? What if they want to do that? <laughs> um, do you personally believe that there's a secret world? There is a tree that looks like a Willow Creek secret world that, uh, the one in, wait, Willow Creek secret world one in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about that too. I'm thinking there might be a secret world as well. I wouldn't be opposed. Why do they all look so taller? Imagine if they threw the height slider mod. Honestly, I don't think they would ever do that, but I think the reason why they're taller because they're werewolves and they're like, they're not human. So when you think about it, werewolves are usually on like all fours, but when they stand up, they're way, way, way much taller than humans. Um, plus they have like more fur, they're a little bit taller, their bone structure is very different. So I think that's kind of why um, they're a little bit taller than like normal. Are those new glasses? Yeah, I, well, the, mm, they kind of look like new glasses, but they also might be base game. You're going to wait to get it, though. Let me work through those glitches. You know, them glitches do be something else. So you got a point there. <laughs> and Mr. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. I'm really deeply in love with this toddler outfit. And the fact that they have like a Halloween animation is really cute. 
We got new stairs, some new wallpaper, some new decals, uh, some new chairs. Like we get, we're getting like a lot of new stuff. But I also think that we might be getting a new roof texture as well and maybe a new lot type. And also James Turner, formerly known as The Sim Supply, made the majority of the lots in this game pack. Um, even my Sim Girl was like, why is that thing peeing? Mood. We got porta potties. Cute. Um, maybe the tree is connected to the tunnels. Mmm, that might be a that might be a thing. You could have gone your whole life without seeing that. Okay, same. Same. So definitely a new fighting animation, it looks like, for the werewolves. I wonder also how big the world will be. Because I think that we might be getting, like, maybe five lots, most likely. Yeah, there's a new... There's actually two. Two new writing desks. There's actually two of them. There's, like, a, a two-tile one and then a singular-tile one. Um, it might be an underground world because we saw a werewolf going in the ground. Ooh, that is an idea. That does make sense. That does make sense. I like these bracelets and these flannels. It's also kind of good, though, when your sim transform transforms into a werewolf, their clothes don't change. Because, I mean, why would they, I find? Um, we saw the werewolf toddlers also will have some biting things. Oh. Hmm. I wonder, because that's what I'm really, really curious about. What will toddlers be like? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to have werewolf tendencies, of course. So it just makes perfect sense. You love the new sweater, uh, but it looks a little alpha. Yeah, I guess we'll see in game, I'm assuming. But who knows? That looks funky. What is that? <laughs> and stars of a Hyrule, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, uh, well, it shows I'm a child at my age because it made me laugh. And I'm an adult who laughs at child humor. Me. Literally me every day. They mentioned something about the river cutting the town in half. I wonder if there's two neighborhoods as well. Mm, that would be an idea to have two neighborhoods into one. I do like that idea. I could get behind that. I hope we get claw nails for human sims. Oh, that'd be nice. Because we are definitely getting more like nail options in the game already since the spa day update. So that's, that could be a good idea. Games are for moms. Welcome in. Hello, hello. And I'm doing really good. Stars of a high roll and I'm glad you're doing well. We're looking at the whole like trailer screenshots and everything before we build our hospital. Oh, and you know the hospital that we were building for St. Jude last month? For some odd reason, I somehow deleted my entire save file where I had that hospital. So we're going to have to rebuild an entire new hospital from scratch. So, yeah. I think it has been confirmed that there are only one neighborhood and five lots. Okay. Okay, five lots in one neighborhood. Okay. When are they going to call you to make lots? I honestly don't know when. I want them to call me right now. They have my email. <laughs> they have every single information that they, ha they have they need to contact me. Uh, Zoggy Froggy, welcome in. How are you doing? The world is probably the size of New Crest, of the newest game pack world. Mm, well, maybe it can... Maybe, or as big as... Granite Falls or Forgotten Hollow. Maybe. I don't know. So this Vampire Diaries theme? Yes. Yes, indeed, Iris John. <laughs> and also, uh, Gracie, welcome in and Vacuum Trash. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. Hey, welcome in, my friends. Bishop Remix, uh, Vacuum Trash, Scotty, Yachty, Yachty, Scotty. Scott, yaddy yaddy, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Lotus, long time no see. How are you? Um, I think it's wait, wait. Okay, I read that one. I think so too. But this feel this feels like very Vampire Diaries theme to me. But I don't know. But we're going over the whole like trailer side of the new Werewolf Game Pack. If you didn't know, 
We're getting Werewolves in the Sims 4 on June 16th. A gameplay live stream will be happening on June the 10th. You can actually pre-order on any platform if you want to get it now. If you love occult and werewolves like The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 and Sims 1. But yeah. And I'm glad you're doing well. That confession. I'm doing really good today. I've honestly been so happy because I was on um, uh, Twitch, Twitch Weekly on the Twitch Gaming uh, Twitch channel today. And it was sponsored, or I was sponsored, or, yeah, I was on the Twitch Weekly's show on the Twitch Gaming Twitch channel, and American Eagle and It Gets Better are do had their six-year anniversary, and they reached out to me if I wanted to be a part of it, so I was technically sponsored by American Eagle for Twitch Weekly. And I got to wear some of their clothes and I'm actually wearing it right now. I think it looks really cute and it's very comfy. Like normally I don't like wearing jeans on stream. I'm not wearing them right now because it got hot. But um, I've honestly have been so, so like happy that American Eagle reached out to me. So that's really cool. And I love American Eagle. Like their clothes are really nice. Um, and enjoy your, uh, you're doing good. You look a lot. Good to be back. Good to be to see you back as well, Lotus and Bishop. I'm doing well today and I'm glad you're doing good. Um, <laughs> they look all look like furries. They really do. I mean, the difference between the werewolves that we already know, they don't have tails. It's a thing. Um, and thank you so much. I have a lot more things coming up that you all don't know about that I'm very excited to announce soon. Um, so be on the lookout for that on the Twitter. Yeah, American Eagles clothes are really nice. I was wearing their new Pride collection by MXM Tune. Um, they had a Pride collection and American Eagle sent me some clothes to wear for the stream. And it was really, really nice of them that they did that. And their jeans are really nice. Like, really nice. But yeah, totally, totally. But hopefully your stream went well, Vacuum Trash. What were you all up to in your stream? Anything in particular? I would love to know. Oh, I didn't show you the beginning of the screenshots either. Oh. Okay, also the other thing too, you can actually get bit by a werewolf as well. Getting bit by a werewolf is going to be an experience, I find. Why is it like that? That's a little bit strange. That's a little bit strange. But this new outfit here... Oops. Here we go. But I'm in love with this outfit. And this hair, these trousers, and this beard. We're getting a brand new beard in The Sims 4. It looks like it might be a new beard. I don't know. It looks new with the sweater. Hmm. New couch, new stairs, new door, new wallpaper, new flooring. I mean, personally, this is like kind of like my style in a sense. Because when you think about it, I can build something apocalyptic. When you're trying to complete the extraterrestrial research scenario. Oh, I have not done any of those scenarios because I've been too scared to even try them. Even the easy ones. I mean, I've done like maybe a couple. And I find them very difficult. And I don't know why. Most of the scenarios I find scary. But once I do them one time, I'm like, okay, this is easy. I can do them again. But I don't know. Also, welcome back, Deb. What did you get for food? Anything in particular? This is supposed to be where Greg lives. There's a lot of warning signs like do not enter, be aware, wolf on sight. <laughs> so I'm curious on how, how and what Greg will look like in The Sims 4. Because personally, I believe he's an elder. You just checked and American Eagle doesn't carry clothing in your size. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. You make uh, most of your clothes anyway. Hey, at least you can customize your own clothes however you want. But I'm so sorry to hear that they don't carry your size. Um, yeah, I'm doing really good. Not that serious. I'm doing pretty good. I'm never serious on this stream. Everything I say is very sarcastic, I find. Um, unless I state otherwise. <laughs> in my speech. Um, but I'm doing really good though so far. I can't complain. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. I mean, new werewolf trailer and a few other things as well. Um, I had a good breakfast. I had a smoothie this morning 
before my Twitch weekly streamer spotlight spot. And then did a trailer reaction to the new trailer, The Werewolves. Cleaned up a little bit. So it's been good. It's been good. Chicken sandwich and Doritos. You know, I have not had Doritos in a while. They should make Doritos without like the whole milk product of it all. Because that would be nice. Plain Jane, just chips. But in Dorito style. Uh, and Annie Roka, welcome in. It's been a long time. You've had a lot of work lately, so you could have been in the chat as much. So it's been wonderful to see you. It's wonderful to see you as well. And that's totally okay. Work is more important than my streams, I find. Um, but I'm glad that you're back, though. I've been really good. I've just been chilling. Okay, blurred. I've been mostly just chilling for the most part lately with life. Um, oh, the new neighborhood is called... Um, Oh, snap. Tell me why did I why did I just blinked at the whole neighborhood side. Moonwood Mill. <laughs> Moonwood Mill is the name of the neighborhood. That is what it's called. So you can get bit by werewolves. There might be like an animation to transform into a werewolf. Also, another animation to like, or no, not animation, a moodlet of getting bit by a werewolf. But I have to say, I am quite pleased. Oh yeah, I've been playing a lot of The Sims 2 as well. Yes, a lot of The Sims 2 on stream and a lot of The Sims 4. Yes, indeed. It's been one of those like streams that I've been trying to experiment with like different uh, games lately. I legit have the same t-shirt that says, I speak fluent sarcasm. <laughs> Mood. I love this so much. Yeah, that is a new bunk bed. We're getting a new bunk bed. You can't see it. I'm going to move my webcam. Um, oh, it's right there. Duh. Um, but yeah, new bunk bed, new bassinet, new toddler bed, two new desks. We have a two tile one and then a single tile one, new bookcase, new clock. Um, a bunch of new chairs, a bunch of new flooring, scratches and cracks on the floor. Um, like a whole lot of new stuff. And Regina Cole, welcome in. Hello, hello. Is that a new fence next to the bunk bed? Yeah, it is. It is a new, uh, oops, hello. But yeah, that is a new, uh, little fence next to the bunk bed. Indeed it is. We're also getting new curtains as well, which is another cool thing that I'm very excited about. We got new curtains right here. Probably a new window as well. Um, but yeah, all of my VODs are always on YouTube. I upload every single day on my VOD channel. with my past streams along with my main YouTube channel. I'm absolutely in love with the new chairs as well. You love all the new stuff and the world looks so nice. It does, even the fish. I'm in love with this table. And these chairs. Like, this reminds me of Realm, of Realm of Magic a little bit. But I'm very pleased about this toddler bed. But also, um, Bessie's, if you didn't know. Hold up. We're getting the singular, small, tiny telescope. Eight years in the making. And we're finally getting what we want. A smaller telescope. And yeah, a new fan as well. Yes. A new fan and a new telescope. I'm more excited about the telescope more than anything, to be honest. I'm not joking, because I never used the giant telescope from, I think it came with base game or get to work. I can't remember, but like I never use it. So having this one being very small is very perfect. So I'm very pleased. Oh, honestly, I have not watched a lot of season four of The Circle at all. Like not, I've only seen like maybe two episodes I already know who won because I follow the circle on Twitter and I get all the notifications, but like I didn't really watch it, watch it. But from what I've watched so far, it's not that bad, to be honest. It's less dramatic. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but like I do have to say it's very spicy, if you know what I mean. Your Twitch is being twitchy, may have to reload if it continues. Oh no, keep on. And yeah, that's a new bassinet. It is, yes. We're getting a new bassinet. Indeed it is. New bassinet with a little sheep above it. Some new wall decals, a new bunk bed, new rug. 
I mean, this is like way better. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> the squishy uh, Stacy girl, welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, the theme is very on par. Like everything is very scratchy and run down, which kind of captures the whole werewolf theme, I find. So I can get behind that. Um, do you think the Sims will get abducted by aliens from the telescope? No, but they did say there's actually a new death attached to the telescope. So um, we're getting a new death and it's, it's part of the telescope part. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, I find. I think the car would suit would suit this pack very well, like a pickup truck or something like that. Oh, that would be nice. That would be really cute to have. I can get behind that. Oh, also we're getting another new fence, a new fence too. So we can make our own um, boxing club if we wanted to. New workout equipment, new lights, new tables, new like recliner chairs, which I think these is a recliner chair, new doors. I mean, this is, like, nice. And you love that new pack, by the way? Yeah, same. I'm, like, really pleased with, like, what they've shown us so far. Like, I'm patiently waiting for the live stream in, like, eight days. But, like, I need it now. Because I don't know anything. So how was your Sims Rats, which is challenge in The Sims 2? Oh, it was wonderful. It was really wonderful. We found a, I, we found a bunch of treasure chests in the ground in The Sims 2. My Sim Struggling now has 21,000 simoleons. We're going to be playing with Struggling again tomorrow, actually. So I'm very, very excited to continue. Uh, you're going to listen while I clean at the hospital? All good, all good. And speaking of a hospital, we're going to be building a hospital in The Sims 4 in, you know, a couple of minutes or so. I wonder if the other pack has different... Uh, has a different rustic style. I'm assuming, because I mean, outdoor retreat and. No, just out. Well, no, I guess just outdoor retreat. It just kind of screams rustic, where it's a little bit more, I guess, polished and not like rustic like this, you know? It's giving descendant vibes. It does. It does. I feel like a lot of us could really make something really special with this pack. But yeah, this will be $20 is a game pack. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see what else we got here today. Oh, here. There's also be like, supposed to be like new foods in this game as well that you can, your Sims can eat. A car seat and there seems to be tools to repair a car on the floor. Some the cars are still coming. This is similar at later time. Cars in The Sims 4? I mean... Maybe. I mean, if we ever got cars in the game, I think it will be something along the lines of, like, what how The Sims 3 cars worked with a mixture of The Sims 2, maybe. Look at that decor of the meat on the table. Isn't it delicious? It's like a T-bone steak. Literally. Wait, where is that? Here it is. <laughs> you think they have car hints? Hmm, I don't know. I keep, I'm keeping my eyes open. I don't want to get my hopes up for literally anything. Cause I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to scare myself. Like if we get cars, I hope it's good. But you know, what can we do? I'm kind of hyped a little bit about the Sims 5 due to open, due to open worlds or possibly to have open worlds. I mean, I'm, a, I'm okay. Like if we do get an open world to the Sims 5 ever, like in the distant future, I think that possibly it would work as like semi-open. I don't know. I do miss The Sims 3 a little bit, but I think what I found annoying from The Sims 3 is that everything was running in the background, which made it very, very unplayable for me. I mean, it works fine now. Like it works great on my computer, but like before it, it was just like a lot to handle. So, I mean, probably better optimization, I'm assuming, since they're going to probably use a different game engine. Because um, I think they're going to be using the Unreal Engine Unreal Engine game engine that is supposedly to be a lot better. And I think the game mechanics and the functionality of everything, the performance will be 10,000 times better if we had an open world. The graphics might be way more surreal 
than what we're what we expect of the sims but who knows but personally i wouldn't even want a, uh, an open world i'd rather have like a semi-open world like for example like based on where your sims live that whole like part neighborhood is open to you and you don't need to go through a loading screen each time like that that's personally what i would personally want in the sims if we got open world that small little sub neighborhood it's open to you and if you travel outside of your neighborhood then go through a loading screen and then wherever you land that whole part is open to you it'd be like way more simple more streamlined i find um and yeah, the hides, welcome in. And yes, we are. We are looking over the whole werewolf trailer screenshots. But yes, we're getting werewolves. It's confirmed. It's a real thing. Indeed it is. Uh, I don't know. But I'm very excited. But open world was annoying. I did like how the fact that you could see everything that was happening. I do miss being able to sue my sims for slander. That's what I miss personally. I wonder if we can have a section of the world, like from The Sims 4 and open world elements from The Sims 3 would be a doable thing. I think so too. I think that would be a thing that they would probably do personally. We like how The Sims 4 worlds work. Yeah, and I have to say the worlds have been coming, are becoming a lot more open, open. Like you can, you have a lot more space to run around, which I feel like is definitely very possible to have like, horses or, or whatever in the game i find but i don't know this is like super super cool to see all of the screenshots i'm just uh, i'm just blown over i'm literally just so happy that we're finally getting something really cool and exciting and there's also lore in this game too and yeah we're getting so many new fences took me ages to find the unicorn you know what's funny the unicorns just randomly appear in my neighborhood in The Sims 3. Every time I open up a new neighborhood, they're always there. Which is kind of funny, because they're hard to find. Usually I just end up going to the map view, and then it's like a rainbow somewhere. Um, but the world is called, um, it's called Moonwood Mill. And it says, once upon a time, Moonwood Mill was filled with the bustle and sound of this neighboring number mill. Today, the town is transformed, and the rusted shells of its former industry provide a cover of a handful of mysterious dozens who sought out this wilderness surround community, basking in its remote and anonymous nature. Hmm. But at least we have a lot more customability with, when it comes to werewolves. They have different shapes, different sizes. You literally could change whatever you want. And there's also two packs in this game as well, like two werewolf packs, Moonwood Collective, and then the other one is called the Wild Fangs. And one thing with the mass control mod in The Sims 3 is that you get the stories of which each sim is doing in the world. Like one of the sims writes a book and the one about their garden. Yeah, I wish we had that again too. That would be really cool. I think also if we did get that, if we did get that again... I would love to have control over like how frequent that pops up because I knew there were so many sims in one of my saves and it got overloaded with so much craziness. Oh, that's just a rumor. That is literally just a rumor. I feel like that whole survey thing is fake. I really think it's fake because like based off of what we've seen, I mean, one person only got the survey, so we don't know who else has gotten it, but I think that thing is fake. Um, everything, like, all the packs are very correct, and they're listed in, based on they were, when, when they were released, except one, which is called Sims 4 High School, and, like, that looks fake, but then again, I have no idea, and I'm just like, I don't want to get my hopes up for anything at all. We're getting five lots in one neighborhood. Um... You like more? You want more info about the collective? Same. But yeah, five lots and one neighborhood. And James Turner made the majority of the lots. Okay, so with the packs, it says Moon Moonwood Mill is the home of two distinct werewolf packs. The Moonwood Collective, a pack of seasoned rustic werewolves that value tradition, community, and self-control. 
and the Wild Fangs, a scrappy, free-spirited crew of rebellious werewolves that value self-improvement, self-acceptance, and are inspired by punk and grunge aesthetics. Now, what I'm thinking is that the wolf, the Wild Fangs are these people. I'm thinking that this is the the Wild Fang uh, werewolf pack because they seem grungy and they're a little bit more about self-acceptance and self-improvement. So this is like probably one of them. And then the other one I find, um, where did it go? Um, hello? Oh yeah, the Moonwood Collective. Since it says a pack of seasoned rustic werewolves that value tradition, community, and self-control, here's my thinking. We don't know who Greg is at all, and I feel like Greg is the leader of the of the Moonwood Collective. That's what I'm thinking. You know, it's in the server that none of the Sins War had any trademarks. Eh, that's true. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like it could be screenshotted and, like, fake, I find. You don't know if they'll do it again because the owner of the mod has retired, but someone else might pick it up. Maybe? You're expecting the next EP will be the will have the words either get or living in the title. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be sad. Like get to school or get detention. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. Um also Poolites, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You read the blog post and you're not really an occult player. I'm actually very good as well. Like I'm not an occult player at all. But I'm getting very excited. You think Greg is a lone wolf? I think I think so too. I don't know. I could see Greg being a lone wolf. Because it, it says there's also Greg, of course, but we don't recommend trying to pry information out of him. You wouldn't want to risk it right. Like, it just seems very interesting. Like, there's also Sims, like, these Sims right here. Like, once you get to know them, Christopher, Rory, and their pack member will reveal their own past and unique uh, perspectives on werewolf, werewolf history and philosophy. So maybe Christopher, Rory, and the other pack members might be the Moonwood Collective, since they a little bit seem more seasoned. I don't know. And Doll Cookies, welcome in. And Florian Demo and Warlord and Neon, welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome in, my friends. I hope your day is going pretty well. Um... But honestly, I'm really excited. Didn't Greg have signs in the front of his yard saying not allowed for werewolves? He did. He did. Greg did indeed have those signs in the front of his yard saying do not enter. If you do, you better watch out. Just joining. Don't worry. We literally kind of just got started with the stream about like an hour or so ago. So you didn't miss much. We haven't done any like building or so. You've seen an underworld thing in The Sims 4 once. This thing gets released. Hmm. Did you see supposedly The Sims like next EP? Yeah, we did. We I didn't show it on stream, but we think it's very fake. I think that the whole like thing and everything is very, very fake because we don't really know if it is or not because it can be photoshopped. You're like legit excited. Same. And Dwarf Librarian, welcome in. Also, did you hear that we're getting body here in The Sims 4? Now that's confirmed. Um, it's going to be a base game update, but I don't remember if they said it was going to be a part of um, before the game pack or after the game pack. Um, it's the lore, you know, like the plants and the fish. And you can only find in the full moon season. The only human sim that owns a bar. The library has vampires, werewolves, and spellcasters. Or literally, think about it. Think about it. Werewolf and vampire war. That would please me. Greg is a wolf phobic. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. Is yellow your favorite color? Because same. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Also, I saw you calling me out in a video the other day. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, do you see the possibility of a high school expansion pack that leaked in the Sims community? Honestly, I can see I can see a possibility of having a high school pack in the Sims 4. 
because we don't really have a proper like high school school system in the game like we don't have private school or boarding school or like prom or graduation so i mean it, it's definitely possible that we might eventually do it at some point but like i think what we saw is like not really true i find because it's based enough of like a screenshot when we don't get the full details and it's off of like one person's point of view um Oh, I don't have any backstories in mind. I need more information. I need to see gameplay. I need to see gameplay before anything. But I do have ideas of like what I can kind of do, though. Um, maybe something along the lines of like, I don't know. Um, something Twilight related, I guess. You might go CC shopping. Oh, and Alice and a welcome in. Hey, wig. Yes. I know people are unhappy with the wool for, wait, wool form, but I actually dig it. I just think that heads are a little bit too small for their bodies. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can always like size up their heads if we wanted to and, and cast, but I can understand that. Oh, after the game pack. Oh, wait, after the game pack has a basement update. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, body hair, smaller telescope. Yep. And Hobie, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, it literally said, like they said, it's literally, because the survey says eco-living instead of eco-lifestyle, which is kind of funny. That's when I know it's fake. So I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I'm very curious, so like, how will they interact with the other occults, but also how will kids and teens interact with that too? <laughs> you have summoned Hobie. Who's ready for Sims 4 furries? <laughs> At least the wolves look better than the Sims 3. Oh, yeah. I am so happy that werewolves look so much better than the Sims 3. Because the Sims 3, they just had like random teeth, fur, and like randomness. And like, uh, why? Because we, we've always had werewolves since the Sims 1. And so dating back to all of that, it just seems like a major improvement. Such an evolution that we have better werewolves. And none of them technically had any tails in The Sims at all. So I wasn't expecting for them to have tails at all in this game pack. But I'm already in love with the blue, the blue mullet uh, Sim as well. Like, look at that. That looks so cool. And Noel, welcome in. Uh, you already have a crush on them? Hee hee hee. Same. Like, this is so adorable. This is also definitely giving me very legacy vibes. Like if you know legacies, that one little hangout spot that they go to all the time, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah, they were a little bit creepy and feral, yeah. I also I also like this structure too. I'm assuming this is just like a standstill hangout spot where your werewolves can go to, and this lot is already here. And so I'm guessing that. There might be a new lot type or a new lot trait coming with the game pack for werewolves, like a werewolf hangout that we have for vampires as well. That one werewolf playing with the guitar is going to be Roxanne Wolf vibes. Honestly, I can vibe with that. But they're also giving me like, you know, the, the band Kiss. I'm also getting those vibes from that werewolf as well. Like it's the makeup and the black and red, you know, aesthetic is what I'm feeling. That open door, that open door is for better furry mods too. True. That's true. And I'm doing really good, Devil of Anna. And I'm glad that your ribs are almost 100% almost at filled, healed. Um, but definitely, definitely take it easy for sure, though. But I'm very, very excited for your furry noodles to, to arrive to your home, though. Very, very excited for you, though. Dwarf Librarian, thank you for the Prime sub. I really, really appreciate that so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new Prime sub. Yeah, the patching, the patchwork is really nice. I love that one werewolf that has like the patchwork. I think it was, um, here it is. Oop, go back, go back, go back. This one right here. This kind of reminds me of Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas a little bit. Uh, remember I said if a werewolf would be Vlad's ex, what if it's Greg? Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, okay. I can kind of see that happening, to be honest. Like, imagine. Imagine. And that's why Vlad's photo is all scratched up. 
think about it. Vlad had an ex. It was Greg. And that's why Vlad's picture is all scratched up. It's probably not true. But like, lore. We, I live for the lore. You're obsessed with the build and buy items. You open up the frame. You open up the frames when something can be posed, and you looked at all the items. Did you see the new bassinet, the telescope, the toddler? Like the objects alone, I am living. You love these punk rock furries, same. Uh, we wish you could have band gameplay kit, including a few new instruments and stage. Oh, that would be nice to have. That would be really nice to have. Yes, having bands back would be a really nice addition to the game. Oh, they did. Oh, I'm so glad. I love Domo. Domo's really nice. I love the fact that me and Domo were a part of the same AT&T AT and class of 2021 together. He's really, really cool. And they hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> also, these werewolves I do like, but I think that the cats and dogs pack, if you give them an option to change up Sims and cats, they would also... Wait. Oh, then we should think... Then we should, I think, we have the option to add tails. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so, but I mean... Hmm. Yeah, I saw two bookshelves. We are getting two new desks. A small one, like a normal like single tile one, and then a two tile one, like a table. But finally, a normal sized telescope. You're really mad at, the, at your Sims. You had a toddler. You wanted one more. You had some pregnant, but she got twins, and now I take care of three toddlers. Pain is what I feel for you. Pain is what I feel. Oh, another thing too about this game pack is that there might be a chance that we might be getting, based off of what I've read, that we might be getting um, that little skill tree thing, that the occult tree that we have for like vampires and spellcasters and even like the get to work uh, pack. I think we might be getting that because it does mention lycanthrope lore with like the whole skill part of it all and collectibles and the books and other things too. So, I mean, hmm. oh, abilities, unique temperaments and abilities is uh, something I was thinking about. No, that's what he was saying in the stream earlier. Uh, he's so talented also. Dumbo's very talented. Um, I had a nice left of the fish and the werewolf head. <laughs> You just want to be able to drag uh, the snout and cast. Same. I was like, can we do that already? But we can't without mods. You love that window, moon window in the chair with the cup holders? Yes. Yes. I even like the new fire pit too and new planter boxes as well. I'm pleased about that. Oh no. Oh, an animal crossing. Oh no. That's not good. You know what's worse than the scorpion? A spider. I feel pain for you as well, Mango Tango. That's not good. Um, but that's basically all we have really have gotten for the information of the werewolf game pack. There's not much we can go off of. I do like the new redesign of the Sims community website, though. It looks really nice. Um, but I think it's really, really cool, though, that we're getting all these really cool, nice things to the game and personally i'm very very excited about that um yeah i don't see anything else oh here it is here's a big giant telescope that we had here before in base game no longer do we need the backyard observatory when in doubt use a smaller one you hope that they also have like more out the other versions of the build and buy but they are also very cute. True. 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 What is this? Oh! Wait, there's more! Ooh, we collected all the previews and gave little... We collected all the previews and gave little to no commentary? Wait, what? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Wait, no way! There's more! Besties, there's more. You thought we were going to build a hospital today? There's more. Oh my gosh. I'm pleased. I love this. I love the view. Also, another thing too, what is the lighting going to look like? And what are the galleries, gallery previews? That is the two things we need to know. The lighting, how good it is. And what is the gallery preview? Because gallery preview and lighting does matter. 
if you have the option to adjust fur lengths on the werewolves, we'd like to adjust a werewolf's fur lengths so that they have that traditional flurry, flurry, fluffy long hair you see in manga and, and anime. Ooh, I would love to have that option as well. You know, that would have been a good, oppor a good opportunity to add a tiny s telescope into um, tiny living. I can see it in more in tiny living than, rather than toddler stuff. Um, so we can see this happening here. Um, Slay. I mean, this looks nice. I mean, honestly, I can get behind this. I can get behind this. I like the eyes. I like the nose ring. A household that has no secrets for sure. What? What you mean? Work. Boots, hands down. Wait, boots. The house down. Boots. Hudson, I'm deceased. Wait, these rings. These rings. Those nails. Another day, another sleigh, literally. Oh, I was saying earlier, I think I posted this in the Discord or something like that, but something I'm very curious about, though, is what if your vampire gets bit by a werewolf? Will they die from a werewolf bite? And if they do, is there a cure? Messes in a bottle, Sims, edition, Sims version. Freezer bunny. Trust no one, not even yourself. This looks like Scooby-Doo. Um... But, okay, what if this is Greg? What if this werewolf right here is Greg? Maybe. Wait! So adorable, wait. I like these outfits. Okay, there's a lot of things. Oh, and the and toddlers get a new occult uh, plum bob thing. Oh. Stay out of me, swamp. Giving Roadrunner? Strek 5, Sneak Peek, I can't. This is really like giving me Granite Fall. Granite Fall vibes is my vibe. Greg, it's him. It's him. The Riverdale gym, that speaks volume because it looks exactly like it. This is funny. Pixar Dad Wolf, yes. I can see it. Oh, and these are, so I don't know who said it before. It might have been you, Dab, I don't know. But these are new glasses. Those look brand new. Um, in my YouTube video, you were saying that the lake will glow at night. Yeah, so the lake, there's a swimmable area in The Sims 4 with the new werewolf pack. And your Sims can actually swim in it. I'll show you. Um, and it actually sparkles at night, which is really cool. As you can see here, it sparkles. I'm assuming this is like some type of like moonlight effect to it that makes it different during the full moon. So I think that's like kind of really, really cool about that. Um, but yeah, new glasses, new shirt. I like how there's more yellow more than anything. Also, can you take a minute and appreciate this? I see one, two, three, three new hairs. All these outfits are brand spanking new. I can get behind this. I can get behind this one. Me too. I'm loving that a lot. So I'm, I wonder what all the movements will be. Like when your Sim gets bit by a werewolf, what happens if your, if your Sim is a vampire or a mermaid or a spellcaster, like how does it all work? You know? And I guess we'll see in the, in the live stream on the, on June 10th, I'm assuming. Um, okay. Slay my, my internet just dying. Oh, <laughs> We'll take over the world. Yes. Life is strange vibe. Oh my gosh. I want to recreate some of the houses from that game then. And also, Miss Griffey, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Yay. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions about werewolves coming to The Sims 4? You get your internet bill tomorrow, so I will start fresh with it. I'm supposed to start paying my internet bill on the 19th, I think. So, I mean, mine's only $50, but was AT&T Fiber. Get it today. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know why I just did that. But anyway, hello, Tanya. Welcome in. I'm pumped for Werewolves 2. We were just going over all the stuff that that they showed on the, on the blog post and everything. And I'm very, very excited. 
Wait, who's that? Who is that family? Oh, I have no idea. I think this is just like a single sim with different outfits and different hairstyles. But there's literally no explanation of as to why who that is. It literally just says up here, um, where to go? A household that has no secrets, we're sure. It's weird. But I'm so, so pumped for werewolves. Um, also, Tanya, I hope your stream went well. What were you all up to? Were you building? Were you creative simming? Speculating? Mm hmm You want to make a werewitch? Okay, same. The fact that we can't have hybrid sims in the game makes me so sad. Because I'm doing it right now in my Sims 3 playthrough right now, which... By the way, besties, we're playing The Sims 3 next week because I finally got my game fixed. I finally got it fixed. I knew what the issue was. I converted all of my, some pack files that I had in The Sims 3 twice, which made my game run twice as slow and twice as long. So I deleted all that and now it's fixed. <laughs> um, we were building a spellcast at home while taking a talk about werewolves. Oh, good. We were actually going to be building a hospital today in The Sims 4 because it's been a minute since we've built a hospital and I felt it was just time. So, um, but that's really cool. I need more information though for like how they're all like fully interact with everyone in the game because personally I find that with werewolves, they have a very distinct style and a distinct mood that I find that could be really, really nice to use through gameplay. So I don't know. I'm curious on how they'll interact with vampires. Your internet bill, uh, they just tried double charging you for a bill over a month ago. Are you serious? Double charging you? That's rude. That's a rude. I was like, who is that? That's wild. One time someone did that to me. I'm like, uh, no, give me my money back. Move on. I can't save. I'm in cast. <laughs> save in cast. Imagine if you could, though. It'd be funny. Okay, so we're going to go to work in like 20 hours, but because I have to rebuild a hospital. Because let me just tell you, my friends, I literally am not joking. I del accidentally deleted my save file that we were building my hospital in a couple weeks ago. So we have to start all over. So that's a little bit concerning and sad, but can you do? I don't really have any build ideas. I, well, I have a few. I kind of do want to build some type of like werewolf hangout of some type, or maybe something along the lines of, um, yeah, like a werewolf hangout in abandoned warehouse for, for wamp, vampires, werewolves and vampires. Definitely want to recreate the Twilight House in The Sims 4. Maybe some houses from Life is Strange uh, and a few others. New picture in main menu. Wait, was there? Wait, there was a new picture? I didn't pay attention. I know I even recorded everything too of my hospital build. And then we're going to start all over. But this time, at least I know what I want to do. And um, I'm going to build smaller, most likely. That's going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I'm very, very excited to see how all this will be. Sir, you can pee later. You'll be fine. Go to bed. Nope. You're fine. You're fine. Go to sleep. No. Nope. Oh my gosh. This child's so sad. <sighs> Go spray the stuff under the bed. Thank you. You're no longer scared. You're fine. Go to bed. Sleep right now. You're fine. Sleep. Pee later. Nap now. Thank you. Sims and their needs. Oh yeah, this is all the stuff from the, the cast, not the cast kit, but the uh, the build and buy kit from Little Campers. Yeah. I am really deeply in love with the Little Campers kit. You have no idea. And it's so adorable. Like this new dollhouse is very cute. I really do like it. Even like this whole little blanket. I mean, everything just looks nice. So this could really work well with the new game pack I find. You adopt a new kitty named Lexi and she's super shy and hiding in my closet, but she's the cutest. Oh my gosh. I follow this one Instagram account. I follow this one Instagram account and it's literally all about cats. They're all cat memes. I'm not joking. It's literally just all about cats. 
And I find it so adorable. I just want to cry of happiness. Where did it go? Um, cats and kits. That's what it's called. Um, perfect kit for, for the new game pack, right? Even when you combine outdoor treats. So we go to work at 7 a.m. So in like a couple minutes. Here's the Instagram, by the way. That's what it looks like. I weep. Literally, I weep. Okay. Hold up. Yes. Um, I wonder if there's anything about Bigfoot lore. I don't know. Join. There might be, but who knows? But I think this is so adorable. What have I done? I deserve this pain. It's so adorable. I mean, like, ah. This is literally me. I love this so much. Oh, Lexi's your cousin's name. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but we got werewolves. When is Bigfoot coming? Never. Bigfoot will be the store. Will be gone forever. Who needs Bigfoot when you have Sasquatch one? Uh, that's not the right one. Deep dot. Ooh, I can't spell anything. Help me. Thank you. Okay. Um, I mean, what if Bigfoot is Greg? Mm. <laughs> That'd be funny. If Bigfoot was Greg, I would scream. Because that would be hilarious. Um, Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed. Because, I mean, honestly, you know, now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense. Because, like, beware of Greg. You don't want to get on his wrong side. I mean... When you really think about it, it makes sense. My whole TikTok is just kittens. <gasps> mood. That's a mood. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, you have fallen into a CC wormhole. Good. Never stop. Won't stop. Uh, have you noticed this since we have you noticed since the neighborhood stories update there has been a stray cats and dogs in the world other than Brendan Bay? I have. I have. And I'm like, this is a little bit concerning to me. I'm a little bit disturbed by that. Help these cats and dogs because they're being whisked away. Oh, this hospital is not even at all. Okay, we're going to demolish it. Um, but I have noticed that lately. But what's the difference between a Sasquatch and a Bigfoot? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the size. I'm guessing. I'm going to guess the size. Okay. Wait, I like, honestly, I don't know who Greg is. Honestly, I don't know either. Apparently, F Sim Guru Frost says it's an NPC Sim or an NPC in the new game pack. But we don't know exactly who it is. And uh, Taki Curb, welcome in. Also, I love that emote, by the way. That speaks to my personality. I love Spongebob. And you saw my you recently started my, my, my you started recently watching my videos and you enjoyed them. You got excited when I saw you stream on Twitch. Yeah, I stream every single day here on Twitch. Who is this? Not Holly Alto being sick. Who are you? Mortimer Goth, Vivian Lewis. Okay, well, you're all gonna suffer then. Goodbye. He he he. Um, but honestly though, I'm like very very excited about werewolves. I definitely do have a lot of ideas of how I'm going to make them work in my everyday gameplay, but also, oops, but also how I'm going to make, um, werewolves, um, a fun thing for me. Cause I don't really like playing with the cult as much as I used to. So this is going to be a really interesting deciding factor. You downloaded a couple of, uh, new CC earrings. Oh, did you? Oh, and speaking of custom content besties, I want to show you what I've been making. A little bit of a detour, but we'll build a hospital soon. But I want to show you what I've been making. Hehehe. <laughs> little show and tell. Little show and tell, everyone. Feed CC addiction. What do you mean addiction? It's a lifestyle. You're excited to be here and hope and your chat is having a great night and day. Yeah, we're having a great night and day. Okay, so I made a mirror, first and foremost. I made a mirror from scratch. It's a mirror. I made this. First, I'm going to build a wall. You can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I made a mirror, which this one, this mirror right here, you can literally place it wherever you want. You can 
literally put on the side wherever you want, which I think is nice. Because normally with mirrors in the game, you can't do that. They're always like stuck in a random position where you have no control. Whereas mine, you have control. You pre-order wearables before popping in here. <laughs> Mood. I think the majority of you all have done that as well. <laughs> which I think is kind of cool that you can pre-order game packs. Because I know that with vampires, you could pre-order. And like, I think another game pack you could pre-order too. But I forget what it was. Um, I made two art prints, which I'm still making more because I'm slow. Uh, I made art print, I made TV, I made a shelf, I made a desk, I made a chair, I made a chair, I made a bookcase. <laughs> I made a lot of things today, or the past couple of times. <laughs> I made it from scratch too, it's using my brain noodle. I'm deaf a sale lurker mood. I'm an, I call myself an impulse buyer more than anything. Made some wall coverings and floors, which work well, but TSR or Mod Sims won't, uh, don't want to hold it, doesn't want to host it. Any suggestions on what I should try? Tumblr. <laughs> I don't really ever post on either of those websites because they're so like weird to me, but, um, they like with I know with the Sims resource, I know they have like a specific um picture size requirement and how you kind of describe your piece of custom content. So TSR has very like guidelines on how you should post in there so it does get approved. If it doesn't get approved, they always give you like suggestions what you could do. Um but I never use TSR or Mod the Sims because I just don't. I used to, but I got bored. So I was like, I'll just use my own website and host it on there. But also I use Patreon is the other thing. So Patreon's like another best bet um, if you want to use that or you just use Tumblr and load it up to the Sims file share, which is also free. Um, yeah. It's the, it's the sizing requirement that that's very picky with TSR. Um, but yeah, Sims File Share is like the best place to upload your files and make a Tumblr post and then post it on Tumblr and then there you go. That's what I mainly do. But I made this bookshelf last night, by the way. But yeah, I made this last night. And I have to say, I'm okay with it. I mean, it could be better, but it's my first time like making a proper bookshelf. I had used some of the textures from Dream Home Decorator to make my own like type of textures that I wanted. But yeah. My little seven piece set, even this TV, I have to say I had so much fun making from scratch is very nice looking. It's a small little, you know, square TV for your kitchen. Oh, uh, you didn't pre-order. Oh, you didn't pre-order, but mainly for two reasons. One, wedding stories, trauma, you know, and two, so you can bundle when they launch. Ooh, that is a good idea. That is a good idea. If we get an expansion pack in July, then you can wait and bundle. You do got a point. That makes sense. You need to save up some money, aka stop buying food from Tim Hortons so I can buy the pack. That's a mood. That's a mood. You love that bookshelf? Thank you. I am not done with it though because I have to change a few things and add a bunch of like slots to it at all. But for the most part, that's what I got. Oh, I hate AdFly. I don't download anything that has an AdFly link. AdFly equally do not download because harmful to your computer. If it says ad flight, don't download it. You don't need it. Really, you just don't. I wouldn't trust it. It scares me when people use ad flight. I'm like, why? Why use ad flight? Don't use it. It makes no sense. But that's just that's just personally me. I've been downloading custom content and stuff off the internet over my span of living. And I have learned the harm ways of ad flight and ad blocks and whatever you want to call them. I don't trust them, not even in the slightest. They're scary. Adfly is scary, but sometimes it's just such good CC behind it. That's also very true, which makes it so hard because you want it so badly. But it's like, do I want to risk my computer breaking down the line? No. So I'm like, I don't know. It's hard. It was mainly just like alpha CC that was behind Adfly links all the time. And then, then I like, was like, I don't download Alpha CC enough to really justify doing all that. So I stopped completely. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. And Pine, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. We're just going over the whole werewolf game pack trailer and everything. And now we're rebuilding a hospital from scratch because I deleted my save file with the one that I had originally. And you know what's so sad, besties? I recorded everything and then I had to delete all of my footage. I had seven hours of footage all gone down the drain. You don't understand why people use app files instead of sim file share. Neither do I. I mean, sim file share is free. And I find like it's quite usable and quite helpful to use. I've been using it for years. It's where I upload all of my content that I've been making lately. Kind of cool. It is. Um, does anyone else see this Twitch recap thing? Yeah, I have. I did see that. I have a few. And honestly, it's quite cool looking. I think it's quite nice. The uh, Twitch recap. And chills, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. I know all of my footage and all of my my save just got, was gone. But then I wasn't paying attention on my computer at all. So I did it to myself, basically, without even realizing it. I was like, eh, I'm building much faster and much better because I actually know what I need to do to make it look good in the game. Because I'm going to use this hospital for, like, other stuff for, like, my gameplay. This is over by one. There we go. You love that you spent so much time here and you found... Oh. Can I read? You love that you spend so much time here. You find... Yeah, you spend so much time here. I don't know why. I'm not like It's like somehow you're a mod or something? Hmm... You spend so much time here. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> um, 14 months resub, yeah. You know, I just resubbed the Simsy for like, I think I had a 54 month resub, I think, to Simsy. Quite poggy, it's just saying. <laughs> but I would love to know everyone else's recap if you have it. I know um, not everyone has, like not every streamer has it. But if you see it on mine, I would love to know what it says. Because that would be really cool. Okay. Here we go. Mod? What's that? Sounds like a viral infection. I know. So weird. So weird. A viral... It's crazy. A mod. Crazy. <laughs> what that? What's that? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Um, I do want to make this the front entrance. So I might move this back a little tiny bit. Move back by one. Move this back by one. And then I want to do something like this right here. Oh, it names uh, stats for you. Oh, it does. I saw mine and I think what I had on mine recently, like ages ago. Um, oh, hello. Oh, you literally just sent me that out. Oh, I was like, what is this? Four days? That's a long time. In the month, yeah, it only shows the month of May as of right now, so the whole entire history. But I streamed for 28 days in May, which is so wild. I streamed literally the entire month of May. The recap should be at the very bottom. Like, I think if you hover, not hover over, like in, I think it's only on desktop you can see it. But you should be able to see it, and it should be, like, below um, my stream title, maybe. I think we sent 36,000 messages. That's a lot of messages. Chatty, chatty. I'm going to integrate this hospital and it was private practicing. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try and incorporate that somehow, because I know it's one of the levels of the Dr. Krieger you can do that, I believe. So I'm going to try. Because I didn't really get to play with uh, the Dr. Korea as much in the game. As I would like to. Oh, uh, werewolves have you in the occult spirit. So I'm starting a spellcaster legacy. And each generation is linked to an emotion. Founder is Envy. And where she wears a lot of green. Ooh, that's really cool. 
that because that's gonna be really fun for you then i'm very excited to see how that turns out okay it says let's check out what you achieved in may with an arrow to the right okay um 28 days that's a long time how are you not sick of me i don't understand how are you all not sick of my my voice <laughs> the majority of you all have been here for literally the entire month of may 28 days of my voice 28 dresses and oh, that's 27 in mine never mind okay I also want to do something like this over here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And it gives you sets on how many hours stream, chats, amounts, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. There's a, wait, there's a lot trait I think you can put on where it adds the clinic to it. Oh, there is in the game. Well, that's new. Is there? I mean... If you know what it's called, let me know, because I, I don't know. Because I know with the, the hospital, it's definitely very different to compare to what we know before, or had before, I mean. I gotta figure out what I'm going to bathrooms. You're picking up new glasses tomorrow? That's exciting. Have you picked out what uh, kind of glasses you want? Like, it's a style? I'll put a small office over here, and then I'll put more different sections back here. There we go. 28 days streamed in May, and that was all for St. Jude. What a wonderful, what a wonderful time, I have to say. St. Jude fundraising is what we live for. Oh, oh, the private practice mod. Okay. Yeah, I used to have that mod, and I was like, mm, do I want it? Do I need it? I don't know. So I deleted it out of my game. I hardly ever use my gameplay mods anymore, because I found them quite... They're great, but I just never had a need for them anymore because they kept breaking <laughs> every time. So I deleted them all. There we go. And Izzy, thank you for the 100 bits. And how are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell. But welcome, welcome in. Long time no see. How has it been for you? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions on werewolves? Are you excited? Are you bummed? Will you riot? Ooh, I also want to know. What will June be like for us this 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 month? Because I'm going back to my regular schedule. That I'm not streaming on Sundays anymore unless I state otherwise. Because um, Lordy Lou, I need a break. Um, but yeah, I am not streaming on Sundays anymore. That was only for charity. But for the most part, we're going to go back to my regular schedule. No wildness happening yet. Maybe I want to do something like that. Um, <laughs> oh, are we rioting for werewolves? <laughs> Not a big hospital. Builds big hospital. Listen, listen, listen. We need space. We need space for the werewolves. They might take over this hospital one day. Who really knows? You don't know unless you try, honestly. Right? Right? Think about the kids. Think about the kids. Give them what they want. <laughs> um, and the passionate, the passionate gamer, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine evening and hopefully your stream went well today as well i would love to know all about it i'm glad you have i'm glad to hear to take a break each week yeah yeah because normally i only stream about i stream six days out of the week and instead of seven because i'm not joking i was streaming seven days a week throughout the entire month of may um but it was worth it though i enjoyed every single minute of it because it was like a thing that i wanted to do and try and it was fun very successful, I find, in a lot of different ways, because emails I've been getting. Um, also, I got to plan out the next unpause stream, too. I haven't been tuning in on Sundays. Oh, no, you're all good, Bahans. You are all, all good. 
we were skeptical about werewolves when the promo came out, but the trailer changed it all. Same. I was skeptical at first, but then I'm like, okay, this is something I can get behind. I'm okay. I will deal with it and not be sus. Ooh, that is not right. But I'm curious on what the live stream is going to be like. I'm curious to see how they will make it. And like, what's going to like, what is going to look like the creative sim part of it all, the animations, what are children going to act like? I need to know. Werewolves may get their own world. Well, they technically are. They are getting their own world. It's called a uh, Moonwood Mill is what the world is called. So yeah, they, they do have their own world, which is nice. Like vampires, they have their own world, like Forgotten Hollow. Uh, you should have a break. Good rest of a creative brain. It needs some time to stare at the ceiling. Yes. Maybe touch some grass. I haven't done that in a while. But I don't do that because the pollen count is severely high. So um, outside is um, icky. <laughs> uh, for you this month and all summer, I'm hoping to for sleepovers and your cousin and two babysitting my two-year-old autistic cousin, Carlos. Ooh, that sounds like a fun summer. Babysitting, sleepovers, excitement of all. Yes. Yay to success. Yeah. Getting sponsored by American Eagle was like a highlight of my dream. And also, I guess I can tell you now, honestly, it's not happening until like next week, but like I'm getting sponsored by Factor, which is like a food delivery service, which is so exciting. So that's happening next week. And I'm very, very excited about that. So it's kind of like HelloFresh. They're like, they're, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like HelloFresh, but the, the food is pre-cooked and pre-packaged by chefs. So you don't have to cook it yourself, which honestly I have to say is so much better because I'm not joking. I don't have time to cook after stream. So having that food already prepared for me is so much better. And it's a food that I actually want to eat, like keto food, ve vegan food, vegetarian food, calorie smart food, like it's kind of nice. So honestly, that's what I'm here for. Oh, they're going to be doing the live stream on June 10th is when the live stream will be. June 10th on the official Sims Twitch channel. They're also going to stream it on their YouTube channel as well. So if you're on YouTube or Twitch, it'll all be on the Sims uh, channel. I hope werewolves and vampires have beef. Same. There's actually what's funny. So if you look at the trailer or the screenshots, there's actually a photo of Vlad with his face scratched out. And we were all speculating, what if, like, Greg, this random mysterious NPC, was the ex of Vlad, and that's why Vlad's face is all scratched up? <laughs> Imagine if that was the case. That'd be funny. I know food. I'm very excited for it, too. So be on the lookout for that next week. I'm looking forward to it. We have some fun plans for that. A few sponsor streams with them throughout the entire of this month, so... Hopefully you're okay with that, <laughs> with the, a lot of sponsored streams of Factor. Um, I'm going to lurk and put the kids to bed. All good, all good. Today's election day in Ontario. Results start in an hour. Oh, half an hour. Ooh, exciting. May there be good results, hopefully. Oh, you saw those photos? Aren't they funny? <laughs> Uh, most likely vampires versus werewolves. Yes. I fully anticipate, um, what, what do you call it? Um, Twilight fandom to rise up wholeheartedly coming out the woodworks, doing what they got to do to make this fandom come alive again. So, I mean, they're already on Netflix. So it's a matter of time for them to, uh, to resurface in the Sims community. I mean, Sims 2, we had that. Sims 3, we had that literally everywhere. And now Sims 4, it's resurfacing, which is good. It's what we needed. Er, day. Do what you gotta do. Oh, thank you so much, Torque Curb. I appreciate that. Okay, let's put this over here. This will be another entrance that I'll have for this hospital. One over here. One right there. There we go. 
And also happy Pride Month as well. Yeah, it's the second day of Pride Month, which is very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what this month, uh, what this month has to bring to us. I mean, I'm very happy because, you know, I've really missed, I really missed Glee on Netflix, but now Glee is on Disney Plus and you know what I've been watching this entire month or the past day, Glee. I literally said, don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Streetlights people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can call you talkie. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. And Bricklayer, welcome in. The fact that I'm excited to do nothing but play House of War all night after stream. What's the problem, dog? Um. <clears throat> anyway, um, I don't think you have a problem at all, Dab. I think you'll have... A very fun time. But yeah, Glee is on Disney Plus. They've officially put it on Disney Plus for Disney Plus subscribers. <laughs> I was waiting for you to get that. <laughs> What's the problem, dog? <laughs> I think I'm going to put a mirror, or not a mirror, but windows behind this for like whatever office, I guess. Um, I think I also want to put some type of like room back here as well. Small little clinic, I guess, for other private practices or whatever. Um, you won't be surprised uh, if the fan base builds some Twilight builds. Oh, I'm I'm part of the fan base, and you best believe I'm going to be building some houses from that movie. I personally really enjoyed um, watching. I almost said Beyond Soul, Breaking Dawn, Part One and Two the most. Like that was my favorite. Minus the, like the first film, I guess. But I think we all can agree. Carlisle did not have enough screen time whatsoever in that movie. He was there and he was gone. Literally nothing. He was like, I'm just here to be a doctor and my father. Like, da 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 do Hee hee hoo hoo. Um, you just want to mow the lawn already? <laughs> the grass is making me mad. Dab, I'm telling you. Mowing in House of her is is too much. It makes you want to pull all your hair out and cry. I'll make this the back entrance. Yeah, I'll make this the back entrance. One here and one there. And then go down here. Oh, no, I can't. Hmm. If that's the front entrance, that's the side entrance. I guess I can go ahead and put another like building back here. You looked at a few minutes of my reaction video, decided to pause and come back to the stream. Can pick that back up later. Oh, well, welcome back, Love the So. <laughs> I'm not joking. When I looked at everybody else's video, I was like, why is mine so dang long? That makes no sense. But, you know, hey, I explained too much and I can talk forever. My video was going to be literally like, um, like 50 minutes long, but I was like, I'm going to chop the stuff in half. Is Twilight the only popular occult series? Yeah, but I mean, besides, like, also, there's Teen Wolf. Also, hey! The Suit Sprites, welcome in! Hi! Oh my gosh! Hey, everyone. I hope you're doing good. If y'all don't know the Suit Sprites, they're my stream team I'm a part of. I just joined the Suit Sprites, and they have welcomed me with open arms and happiness and love. I love them a lot. Don't tell them I said that. They'll punch me. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> I really, really adore them. But also what's so cool about the Sprites, I like that the name represents Studio Ghibli, which makes me so happy because I love Spirited Away so much. You have no idea. Uh, but anyway, Jade Moon and me, Lofa, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. And Gotham Mom, welcome in. I hope you're doing well and swell this fine evening. But thank you so much for showing the love and welcoming me to your lovely, wonderful uh, Twitch teamings a lot. And Jade Moon, welcome in. Send a lot of love. You're in a commute to work, so internet is rough. All good, all good. Appreciate the love either way. But welcome, welcome in, friends. <laughs> oh, honestly, I have not been a part of a, a, a stream team ever on Twitch. And so being a part of something special makes me special. 
And so this makes me very happy to be part of the Sprites. Honestly, I'm gonna scroll. There we go. Uh, you're rating best to least. Twilight Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part Three. Wait, Breaking Dawn One, Breaking Dawn Part Two, New Moon. Because Eclipse is the one with um the new Victoria, right? Uh, it was okay. I mean, Eclipse is okay, but like, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, Twilight is like one of the biggest occult fandoms out there. And then next is like Team Wolf and then True Blood and something else, I think. Right? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> You've been looking for a bit. Uh, since you're working, but happy to catch you and welcome you in. Also, just join. Oh, yay! This is so cool to make new friends. I love this community so, so much. Okay, that's not right. Move it back. Um, Twilight is iconic, though. Is there... It, it, yeah, that's true. It did start it all. Twilight did start the whole, like, fandom. Well, because Twilight came out in 2008, and then Vampire Diaries came out in 2009, right? But I feel like what started the whole thing was technically Underworld and Blade because Underworld's like a vampire werewolf type of like series movie. And then Blade is like a whole vampire thing. And then Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a whole other thing too. I don't really, well, I, yeah, I would count Harry Potter's in the cult for like wizards and spellcasters. Wasn't Victoria a vampire? Yeah, Victoria was a vampire. She was the, the redheaded lady. Okay, how am I going to do this? I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to first put a pathway down. Let's do... Well... This could be probably the in-between. You know, this can be the in-between room. I'm going to put another room over here. And then this can be the back entrance. Solving my issues with, with adding more walls. Um, I love Underworld. I actually, I think I own the first movie, I think, but I don't remember. <laughs> oh man, I, I loved watching like those type of like vampire horror movies. Like even watching Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman and Kate, what's her name? Who one time did it, Pete Davidson, that one time for a short while. Um... You can see uh, Underworld RP, Supernatural RP. Oh, how could I forget about Supernatural? Oh my gosh. Um, you used to watch me years ago and you simply across my channel. I'm doing really good today, actually. Thank you for asking. I've been thriving in my mental health, which is always important, but also just doing what I love, making content and, and just vibing i've been more chill over the years like i've noticed when i first started making youtube videos and streaming i was more chaotic back then but now i just feel more chill and less chaotic but with chaotic tendencies you've seen all three and aren't they so good daft daft tell me why i thought that was like a zero and i was like we already have quote number zero i think it's called wakey wakey eggs and bakey or whatever i don't remember <laughs> I don't even know. You think you were secretly hoping werewolves would look like would look like those? Yeah. Okay, so I figured out my my whole little off hospital thing. Now it's time to do this roofing. Help. The first one was the best. Oh yeah. Did you like the Blade movies? Oh, I did. I've seen all of them. I've seen every single Blade movie and I really, really enjoyed them all. I gotta watch them again and I know that they're doing a Blade series on Disney Plus, I believe, but I forget when that's happening. But I've seen them all. Yes, they are epic. Nothing can beat Blade. OG Blade, love him. I was right. <laughs> uh, what are you most excited about with the new pack? Honestly, mostly just building. <laughs> I'm really curious of what the building will be like. That's what I want to know. Building. This right here. Right here. You did the flying hybrid though, the second one. Oh, you did like the, oh, you did, like, the flying hybrid one, the second one. Okay. 
I always like I only like the first one though. The first one's always like my fave in any like series franchise. Um and one cookie, welcome in. Just questioning myself of why I'm always like to your streams. It's okay. Are you getting my notifications? Are you in the Discord? It's okay. Um I'm always like to my own streams anyway, so you're not the only one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is gonna make me so sad. Push this back, push this back. But I'm glad that you're here though. We literally just started the the build so you haven't missed much at all. Okay. I think I know what I want, but ultimately I don't know what I want. Uh, I have, I not joking. I have this problem of binge watching all these shows in one sitting and then going back to rewatch them again. But yes, I watched season four all in one day. Um, and Midge, the little witch, welcome in. How are you doing today? And thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Hopefully your stream went well. Appreciate it so, so much. Uh, you're doing nothing wrong, just spamming your DMs? Of what? Oh my god. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so my walls are actually really yellow. They're not, it's not a green screen. I need to zoom out. Jeez Louise. Um, but the walls are actually yellow. They're not a green screen. They're real. People think it's fake. <laughs> but Midge, welcome in. We're currently working on a hospital right now in The Sims 4, and I have to say I am pretty pleased because I've never really actually got to play as a doctor in The Sims 4, so this is like a newfound obsession of mine of rebuilding these lots that EA built ages ago. But yeah, Cass is a new in the new scene to lean towards grunge and punk. Look, yeah. I can see that. I can definitely see that happening. Very grungy, very uh, like punk rock. Based on like the whole aesthetic of everything, I find. So that makes sense. And it kind of makes sense like anyway, because werewolves are like that anyway, I find. Who knows? Oh, also, by the way, Calamari, I moved. If you didn't know, the last time you probably, I don't know when the last time you watched me or not. But I've moved. I've moved from my parents' house to my own apartment. <laughs> I'm a grown adult. I pay my bills on time. <laughs> Which reminds me, I actually did pay my bills. I paid rent. Supernatural RP, though, can be incorporated to all cults. That's very true. It can. Because when you really think about it, it does make perfect sense. And I'm actually very excited for the... Um, the Winchester spinoff or the Supernatural spinoff, the Winchesters. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that will turn out. Oh yeah, the high tops. Yeah, I even saw the new earrings. That is not centered. Um, the new high tops. I'm looking forward to like this new shoes in general. I'm curious like what swatches, like I'm always curious about swatches. How will they look? What will they, you know, the variety. Variety is key for me. So that is what I'm curious about, how they will incorporate all that, especially with the ombre hair from that one sim. Oh, you thought this was a new shell challenge? <laughs> no, I would not dare do my own shell chunks if this was it. But the new shell challenge will be on Saturday, though. <laughs> that one will be a um a room shell challenge instead of an actual like shell shell that we usually do. And thank you. Living alone is terrifying. I don't like it. But honestly, though, it's kind of nice because one, I need to build my credits somehow because I don't have I didn't have much credit to begin with. So um, it's been nice living on my own, but scary for the first few months it was because. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know anything different. Um, but I've gotten used to it. Buying my own furniture, getting things sorted out, cleaning more, organizing my apartment, buying furniture that I don't need. So it's been real. <laughs> my one year is supposed to be coming up in September, which I'm very excited about. 
You know, it's another painting that was scratched. Don't know who it is, though. What if it's Greg? What if it's Greg? I can get behind that. What if it's Greg? If it was, I mean, okay, cool. Greg is a, a target, I find, in most scenarios of Sims gameplay. Based on what they have said, says, beware of Greg. He's a little bit suspicious. Beware of Greg. Okay, push this back. Well, they also want to know, I wonder how many swatches come onto that one as well. That's what I'm curious. Does anyone else think the industrial loft kit items? Wait, the industrial loft kit has items much like this game pack? Oh, no, you're not the only one wondering about that. I feel the exact same way. I think it looks very, very similar. Because industrial, rustic, worn down, it makes sense when you really think about it. So I can definitely see it 100% for sure. It being like very inspired or like very similar to it. Um, you broke down like 10 times moving out. Moving out, I feel you. I'm not joking. Moving out is so stressful. When I tell you I cried, I cried. But also I had a mental breakdown just randomly two weeks ago out of nowhere from stress, I think. And it was horrifying. I don't like that feeling at all. But also the other thing too, I had like this weird, crazy nightmare that someone broke into my apartment and I screamed. That was not pleasant. So, but this was like in the middle of the night though. There we go. Um, there's an NPC repairman named Greg. Could that be? Maybe. Maybe. But I don't think so, though. But you never know. I think I'm going to do another bump out. Bump out. Bump out. You don't, live, you don't like living by yourself. Thus, I have a roommate living in my house. So there's someone that has my back, vice versa. See, here's my thing. I don't like living alone. And I don't like sharing my space. So that really tells you something about me. I don't like sharing my, my space because I, I just can't. I did that one time in university. I hated the whole thing because it was awful. They were dirty and not clean and it was not ideal for me. So I was like, mm, yeah, no, I rather live alone. Plus I'm a YouTuber and I talk forever. I can talk for days. So, but then I have the absolute audacity of wanting to buy a house is the thing. Why? And also London, welcome in. How are you doing today? I have so many plants. Actually, I had repotted a bunch of my, or actually I only repotted. One, two, three. I repotted one, two, five or six of my plants a couple of days ago at my parents' house because they have all the dirt. And um, what's funny, all the repotting came from two plants. I bought two plants. I think two years ago and I just like they kept growing and growing and growing so I kept snipping and snipping and snipping and repotting and putting them in new water and new soil and they just kept growing and growing and growing so I have all these plants from two singular plants which is so wild surprise they're not dead yet but I, I feed them water and, and you know do the necessary things I have to do of course um ow but I think I might get more because I need I want more <laughs> You never got to experience living alone. Was always living with somebody. Well, maybe one day, though, in the future, who knows if you're up for that. <laughs> but I feel like, honestly, living alone is overrated sometimes, depending on, like, what your preference is, I guess. And I'm glad you're doing good, London. I am doing pretty swell at the moment. We're currently building a hospital in The Sims 4. So I'm just quite vibing along, chilling like a villain. So I can't really complain. Can't complain. And so far, so good. I think a little gazebo looks nice right here. Yeah. Um, and enjoy your alert car car. If you move in without a roommate, I'm getting a dog. See, that's also my other thing too. I want a dog. I rather, instead of a human, I want a dog. 
but I want a house instead. And then I'll get a dog. This is much better. That's what I personally want. A house and then a dog. Luckily, I'm applying for a job to so I can afford those type of things for myself and other things as well. What in the... What in the... What in tarnation? What in the world? I don't even know what I'm looking at at the moment on my on my computer. Um, you love plants too. I actually have a golden golden pothos plant. I don't know where I got them from, but if I can find them, I'll post them in the Discord. Actually, if you all want to grab the same ones that I have, they were not that cheap. Let me tell you that, not cheap whatsoever. There we go. Uh, since you have a lot of family gameplay, I can, can you tell me what a Dapa care dependent does? Uh, like you, about to take care of a child. So like they'll like basically, uh, well, honestly though, honestly, I wish I could tell you the correct way of what, a dis of what adopt as a care dependent would be. I'm assuming, however, like if your sim, for example, is not related to you and they live with you, you can adopt as a care dependent, basically saying I'm taking care of the sim autonomously, like bathing them, feeding them, whatever it might be. And I think that only works for toddlers, right? Or kids as well. But it's usually just like they can uphold... Um, the parental right to take care of the kids in the game. Like teenagers are old enough to take care of kids since they're technically adults in the game. They can have them adopt as care, care dependents to kids and toddlers. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it does or not. I don't know if it does. You share a house with your husband, son, five cats and a dog, and yes, you have tons of plants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yay. Um, you're not allowed to have, you're not, you're not allowed to have, you're not allowed to have plants because I killed two, two cactuses. How does one kill a cactus? Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So adopt as a dependent option only appears when an adult sim certainly playing and target child teen sims do not have the same household nor both have any family relationships. Oh, okay. If you show this option, the same household members, this is a child neglect. Social services must come to this house. Hmm. It gives you the non-parent more ways to help raise a child and then they can help with teaching them parenting stuff and they can ground the children too. Oh! So that's what it is. They basically are helping raise a child, like doing more parenting things for them. You can also ground them too. Oh. Oh. So that's what it is. See, I didn't even know what that was. That makes sense. Oh. So that makes more sense, Jay. What do you think of the new game pack so far? Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love with the new game pack. But I need more info. I need more info in the game pack. Like, gameplay. Gameplay is what sells me on stuff. If there's no gameplay, I weep, cry, and don't and don't buy. But so far, what I've seen, my my uh, thoughts were like, okay, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. I can get behind this, and I can actually fully enjoy it. And there's some lore behind it too, which makes it more enjoyable for me. So I like it so far. But what do you think? What do you think? If you over overwater a cactus, you kill it. Well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, like, you should never overwater a plant, regardless. That sounds scary. But cactuses are like desert plants. So you can put them out in the sun, but not for too long. Who do you think Greg is? Honestly, psh, you know, we've said a lot of things in this chat, but I also feel like it could be 
the um the hermit from Granite Falls cousin or George George Cahill's something I don't know or even Vladimir Stride's uh ex partner we've had so many like ideas in our heads today about what it, who Greg is but then I honestly believe that Greg might be an old elder werewolf who is much of a loner, doesn't really talk to anyone, and is very mean and aggressive, and will start a fight with literally anyone that crosses his path. But that's what I also think, too. He's all about that tradition, used to be an alpha, but then, you know, another alpha came along and took his spot, you know, stuff like that. Oh, was my Discord? Right there for you, my best friend, Rigsby. Oh, no, you're all good. Um, but you want to count on gameplay for The Sims 4 just now? Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, at this point, with Sims and just games in general, I don't expect much from any game, especially, like, pair lives. Like, I'll just wait until I see it. I mean, I'm already going to get the game pack just because I'm going to get it. But, like, I don't expect much. And trailers only show you so much in like a two minute, one minute trailer, which is not that much. But I mean, I'm curious to see what the gameplay will be like, honestly, at the end of the day, but who really knows? Cause they're supposed to get a live stream on the 10th anyway of what the gameplay is going to look like, which is like in eight days. Your mom killed, killed her cactus because her other plants survived. She watered them all once a week and rotted the cactus. Oh my gosh. It's like, you're thriving, but you're not, so I won't water you. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, you're, ex you're excited? You love the cast and build and buy already? Same. I'm more excited about build and buy and cast because I love that stuff. But, you know, I'm curious to see what gameplay will be like. And Emily, welcome in. You're not late at all. No. Not, no, no. Thank you for welcoming me in, Miss Emily. I really appreciate that so much. I'm so happy to be a part of this crew. It makes me so happy to be part of the, the such sprites. Studio Ghibli is my vibe. It's what I live for. I actually was watching House Moving Castle last night. That's not going to lie. I did almost break my hand trying to put, to break a piece of chocolate off of my chocolate. Are you serious? That's a mood, but also same. I was trying to, oh, I was trying to open up something. Um, I think it was, I was trying to get ham out of like this ham container. I'm not joking. My nail bent backwards and then my whole entire finger was purple. That hurt so bad. It did not go away for at least like four weeks. You're going to start thinking of Greg being isolated, like a, a beast for some reason. Oh, that'd be so cool. You are wondering if your sim could be a spellcaster, vampire, and a werewolf. Well, people have said you can, like, combine different occults together, but it's not really official. And also, PTX fan forever, welcome in. I'm doing really well today. How are you? Um, But yeah, it's not good. I did that one time with my car door. Not helpful. I weeped and cried for days. We're happy to have on the team. Even Shella. Even Shella, right? <laughs> what do you think of actual werewolves? Honestly, actual werewolves are not bad. I mean, they're scary, but they're not bad. I'm okay with them. I can call you PTX, cool. Why do I want to call you Pentatonics? Is that what it, is that what it's short for, Pentatonics? Because you're a Pentatonics fan. Because so am I. I love Pentatonics. I love their music. Oh yeah, we already saw that uh, Simi Luna. We all think it, it might be fake because like. It doesn't, it looks so photoshopped. At least to me, it does. And you're all right, you got home from groceries. Nice, and it is for, for, for Pentatonix, good. I know my bands, indeed I do. 
Oh, good, good, good. Hopefully you got some good stuff from the grocery store. You prefer them over the Sims 3 ones? Oh, same. I prefer the Sims 4 werewolves over the Sims 3 because Sims 3 werewolves were um not my jam. Not even the final jam, like Camp Rock 2. So I didn't really fully enjoy them because they just seemed meh to me. But yeah, what can you do? What can you do? And Cassandra, welcome in. How are you doing? But I'm doing really good, though. We're just hanging out. We're building a hospital to the best of my ability after losing my other save that I accidentally deleted without realizing it. But so far, so good. So far, so good. We're talking about the new werewolf game pack that we're getting on the 16th of June, which is like in two weeks from today. So can't complain. Can't complain. Michelle personally told me she's very excited to have you on the team. Oh, really? Good. Thank you. I won't tell her that you said that then. Thank you. That makes me happy. And Kaleidoscope Cat, welcome in. And uh, Cam, welcome in. How are you? You feel like there, there could be more? Yeah, there could be more info about werewolves. Like, I'm very, very excited about the lore. I'm also curious what kind of skill that your sim werewolves can get. Because there is lore and there's a book that you can read. So I'm curious what the level is going to be like. How far you can go with it. And just like the general like benefit for it. Of course more understanding about you know lichen. But you know give me more info. You're very pleased with your sound alert. You can't stop laughing. Excuse me? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, no, I get follow alerts. I don't hear the sound, but they end up appearing at the bottom of my, uh, the top of my screen. Um, I had turned off all of my follower, like, sound sounds because I kept getting so many one time that I had to turn them off. But also the other thing, too, the reason why I turned those things off, because hate raids are a thing and spam, like, bot following is a thing as well on Twitch, which is very, very daunting and very scary. So I had to turn a bunch of, like, sounds and alerts off because of those things that happen on Twitch to avoid um, issues. But usually I see them all the time, but... um if you, if you tell me that, I, that you followed, I will say thank you for the follow, though. Um, but thank you for following, though. I really appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Either way, I stream every single day. So I'm always, I'm always here streaming something, some type of video game. Mainly The Sims, but, you know, I do play other variety gameplay. I do like to call myself a variety streamer. I'm a bit of a ragged tea, as they call. The Sims 3 look more like humans with a bunch of hair, while Sims 4 looks like actual werewolves with long human legs with uh, tiny heads. True. True. Um, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Like, I hope that the werewolves will be better because I do really want a skill tree so badly. Like, I'm not joking. I need a skill tree because I need some enjoyment with those werewolves. And Tamiko, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope your day's going pretty well. Oh, yeah. The hate rates are not ideal, especially during Pride Month, you know? Oh, they do look, they do kind of look like big kitties. And I'm excited for the pack, though. Oh, good. There was another thing I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. Maybe if I scroll up, then it'll remind me. Um... What was it going to say? Oh, I was going to say, yeah, mermaids are probably the only occult that I don't like because they're not really fun to play with. Like if you're thinking about getting um, island living, don't get it for the mermaids. They're not really fun. <laughs> Who's actually a Minecraft? Yeah, you know, um, I was actually on um, Minecraft championship just saying i'm a bit of a pro not really i was never on there but like imagine i was i'm kind of a minecraft pro just not gonna lie pretty talented 
You just heard jungle sounds. Oh, it's a sound alert by Tappy Co. So if you have like over 10,000 channel points in the Spring Squad, you get a custom sound alert that you're allowed to play throughout the stream. Um, so that's what you were hearing. <laughs> a sound alert from Tappy Co. I thought you were going to build something small this time. Listen here, Peach. Listen, listen. Listen. This is small. You just got to tilt your head a couple degrees. That's all you got to do. You just got you know, to you tilt your head 90 degrees. And then it's small. Okay? Yeah, maybe tilt your head 90 degrees. Squint a little bit. You'll, you'll see everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm doing really good though, Tabby Co. Thank you for asking. Can't complain. It's been a very, very busy but fun day. Had a sponsored stream by American Eagle, where I guess I was a part of a sponsored stream with American Eagle on Twitch Gaming's Twitch channel for Twitch Weekly. Um, so that was really fun today. And then... I worked on my schedule for a little bit, made some new designs for custom content art that I was making, and planning out some streams for the future. Sims? Sims. You've had Island for a year and never played with mermaids. I don't really play with mermaids. I don't really play with any occults. Now that I think about it, like I stopped playing with the majority of them. Like I do like vampires. Vampires are like my favorite. I have to say, listen, Linda, this is not smart. Listen here. Listen here. Tilting your head does wonders. I really do not like this roof whatsoever. <laughs> this roof looks so ugly. Oh my gosh. I don't like the roof. 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 Um, lying never would be me. Never would be me. You remember one time a few, a few years ago, your baby brother dropped a can of corn or something on your hand. And the time that you got home, your finger was blue, black, eventually you fell off and it regrew now. <sighs> I'm telling you, if you ever injure your finger, it's like, well, I guess I don't need a finger today. <laughs> um, You had to put a sim, wait, you had to put your sims, wait, you had to put. Your Sims pair of chihuahuas up for adoption because you, they kept running away. And your Sims had taken one dog away because he got, because it was so, because of it. So I logged back on the other day and was able to adopt both dogs back. Wait, what? You can put your dogs up for adoption in the Sims 4 since when? I didn't know that was a thing. When could they do that? I've always knew that you can, like, adopt the dogs or the cats, but never put them back for adoption. My favorite pack? Seasons. If not seasons, it would have to be, um, Parenthood. I've really been enjoying Parenthood gameplay a lot lately. Um, but yeah. Seasons is probably my, my go-to pack out of any pack in any, like, Sims franchise, just because it's seasons. You can't have an unseasoned game like you can have unseasoned chicken. Unseasoned chicken is disgusting. So why would we have it in The Sims, you know? Having unseasoned gameplay? Disgusting! Anyway. But that's just me. Just be clear, my finger nail it. Oh, your finger nail out your finger. Oh, okay. Makes more sense. For a while... Uh, for a while, so if you are breeding, you can put them up for adoption, get money. Really? That's been a thing? When I tilt my head, it's still huge? Uh, sure. Your definition of huge in The Sims 4 is not my definition of huge in this game. Huge is like building on a 64 by 64. That would never be me. That's called, that's called toxic behavior. If you go into the laptop, the same place, you can adopt pets. Give you an option to put them for adoption. Oh, ooh. I didn't know that. Unseasoned chicken, that's a fair point. I agree. Exactly. I mean, seasons just adds a lot of variety, I find, at least for me. For, like, gameplay reasons. 
because I do like Harvest Fest and I do like Winter Fest. And being able to use the calendar to set my own event is kind of nice, at least for me. I think so. Disgusting. I don't even know what that's from, actually. Is it from, um, was it a vine? Tell me why I thought that was Harry Potter who said that. No, it wasn't Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Anyway, let's figure out this roofing. Roofing is just not my strongest suit at all. It makes me want to cry. Roofing is literally the plague of the Sims. I avoid roofing like the plague. I'm not joking. It's toxic. Toxic. It scares the living daylights out of me. Every time I open up my game, I see horrific roofing. Anyway, let's get this roof here. Imagine if level one cooking instead of meals. There is now, wait, there are now, it was a thing with like unseasoned chicken breasts and instant noodles. Ugh. Instant noodles without any seasoning is just nasty. I don't know what people are thinking that it's delicious. Uh-uh. But then again, all the sodium it makes sense. I'm like, uh, but still. Have some flavor, please. For the love of Bella Goth, all that is holy. Some spice in your life. The best feature is the calendar. Oh, I agree. I agree. The calendar system is the best. But going back to the whole instant noodle thing. I find myself not eating ramen noodles anymore, but now I only eat um, like soy noodles or black bean soy, black bean noodles. Like basically vegan vegetarian noodles is what I've been eating lately and it's delicious. I get them from Aldi's. I'm happy that Percy Jackson is back too. I'm very, very pleased. The cast looks fantastic. I'm honestly looking forward to seeing what they do and how it's going to be executed through uh, the screen. You got an update on your computer. It's supposed to be here Saturday. Ooh. Hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> What's the first thing you're gonna do then with your new computer? You like the option to put pets up on adoption because sometimes I believe they can be overwhelming and annoying your Sims at some point. True. I mean, that's why I don't play with pets any, anymore, because they are too much. I mean, going back to the whole Not So Berry fiasco, there were more cats than Sims. I couldn't handle that stuff. So hence why I never play with pets, because there's too many. And these pets are like free, free spirits going out into the world having kids. And I'm like, uh, no, no, let's not do that. And also, KDJ, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening. We're currently working on a hospital build at the moment. I'm not doing a really great job on it, but I'm trying my darn hardest to make it look good. What if I start all over? <laughs> that would be very wasteful. We're only like, we only have like 30 minutes of the stream. There's no way I'm starting over. No way. Um, But yeah. People eat ramen noodles with no seasoning. Yeah, some people do. I don't. Because I don't eat that stuff no more. Let's put this back up here. I don't know. I don't like this build. I really am not the best, like, community lot builder I find. I don't really know what I'm doing half of the time. Um, When you got your first Sims, you simply did not add a roof into your houses. So, wait, were gray boxes with windows? Oh, they were just gray boxes with windows. Why was that me? I did that during the Sims 2 era. And then I was like, I'm going to put a roof on it and see how it looks. Let me tell you, I was shocked on how bad it looked. I was like, not today. Also, that boy, Dason, welcome in. How are you? Okay, now this is not looking that bad. Okay, I think I might just take this back parting out because now I don't like it. And what's the picture on your wall? Uh, these are just like random posters you can get from this from City Living. 
their posters from City Living, and I got them from The Sims team, but you can't get these physical because they don't sell them anywhere. Um, where's your small build? The next one will be. I want to build a vet clinic. I want to replace the vet clinic in Brindlin Bay with my own. Because after watching the shell tours from the other day, I was like, it's my time to shine. So that will be my small build. You best believe it. You best believe it. It will be. Can you restart this build? I want to learn more how to build houses. Psh, I can, but I've gone too far that I don't want to anymore. <laughs> Just told my cat, come hang out with me. Listen to Spring Sims. Did they listen? Did they follow thy directions? Do I want to... I want to do this. There we go. You're artistic and you love seasoned food. Seasoned food's good. It's just the general taste of it all that pleases me so much. That you're floating in seven heaven. You know? Um, but yeah, you can always watch the VOD back. And I also very, I stream a lot uh, of my builds on here on Twitch. So if you're always curious on how I build, I do it nine times out of ten on stream. My cats love to listen to Stephen. Oh, really? Ah. Maybe, you know, I'm a cat podcast, everyone. I'm a cat, co uh, a cat podcast. Yes. The paintings behind me. Oh, they're all like Sims paintings. Sims paintings that I got from the Sims team. Um, they gave them to me like years ago, though, is the thing. You can't buy them anywhere, but you can actually um, get them in the game. If you own City Living, you can find them in Sam Ishuno. But these are physical prints instead of like fake prints you can get in the game. But you can't buy them anywhere. I wish the Sims team would sell them because everyone keeps asking me where I get them. <laughs> Um, Kayla has the same ones in her background too. And a few other like friends of mine have similar prints because we all went to the same, um, event together where we got them from, but not everyone has them. I think Deli, James, Kayla, Megan plays, Aviator Games. I don't know. I don't know who all has them, but I just know me and Kayla have them, like have them in our background. So people ask us a lot. Um, ow, so many cats like Stephen. You know, I'm just a calming cat person, you know? The hospital is turning out really nice, though. Thank you. You like the dimensions of you adding, you're adding, so it's not super blocky. Good. And that's what I always tell people. When in doubt, add boxes to your build. Just add little small little bump outs to make it look different. Because when you have like a flat box, it's not as exciting. And you don't know what to do with it. Just keep adding bump outs to fix it. <laughs> the fact that he didn't notice my quote ad. I don't even know what you said. <laughs> Chad's moving so fast. You are not a simmer if you're not, if you haven't made gray boxes with windows. True. Excuse me. You know what I can do? I can delete that quote if I want to. I can, I can delete that code if I want to. Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> Mood. Watch me. I'll do it. I will do it. Anyway. Um, I think I want to... Mm, do I want to put this on a foundation or no? I think I'll leave this on the ground. And then move the gazebo back. Yeah, I'll move the gazebo back. And then put like some type of pathway leading to this front part. Yeah, I like that idea. That works. Yeah. You know, honestly, though, I feel like everyone should make gazebos in The Sims. Especially in their backyard, I think it'd be nice. We'll go on strike. Lying. Lies. Anyway, I don't know. 
Um, what other games besides like health support should you get? You have tenants, but honestly, there's so many out there to choose from. You can't decide. Honestly, I can't decide either. It's hard to say. I mean, I've been really enjoying, um, what's the game called again? So many tabs. Um, I've been really enjoying Cozy Grove lately on my own free time. We played it on stream a couple of times, actually, but I've been really enjoying Garden Story and Cozy Grove. And then another one that I've been recently playing was uh, City Skylines again. I do love a good city builder every once in the blue moon, so it's pretty fun. I would have to say, at least for me. Something relaxing, something that I have full control over. That pleases me to see what I can do to make my gameplay better. I also like to use, I like to use mods in my game in my gameplay. Um have I seen any links to the high school pack? I don't think it's legit. I don't think it's legit at all, honestly. I think the, the leak that we saw was like a one-sided like poll that we don't really know much info about, which I feel like it isn't real. But then also I think have, how half the time, I think that's like more of a filler type content of them putting that in there for whatever reason, I guess. But I don't know. I think it's, I think it's fake. I think it's Photoshop. Anyways, anyways, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, roofing. Let's do, where is that one roof I had before? Here it is. Yeah, and the one thing that threw me off was called eco living. But why do I feel like I've seen that survey like ages ago? I don't know why. I feel like I've seen that same survey ages ago, but I don't know where, like years ago. You recently, you recently restarted Cozy Grove and Garden Story. It's so good. I love Garden Story for like the little, the little um, plum character. They're so adorable. Like they're so cute. Plus the music in it's really nice as well. You remember Cozy Grove? Cute game. Yes. You know what, Tabico? I think you should play 12 Minutes. I think you'll really like that game. That game's really fun. It's nice and relaxing and not confusing whatsoever. Did you see the screenshot of Glimmerbrook? No. It's a game from Cuddlefish and it's been waiting for years. No. Post a link in chat. I want to see. I did not get the DLC for Cozy Grove. I didn't even know there was DLC. I thought it was a general update. What is a path that you would like to see in the future? Generations. That's all. I just want generations and that's literally it. <laughs> and Zuko, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Um, But it's always fun to see you here in Twitch chat. <laughs> nope, not that game. Not 12 minutes. Not the horror of 12 minutes. What if they made a sequel called 24 minutes? I would mentally have a mental breakdown. Wholeheartedly, I would just cry on stream. From, from frustration. <laughs> but honestly though, if like if I could have any pack in The Sims 4 for the future, I would personally want to see how they would do generations and something that has to do with either the future or the past. Because we already had Into the Future for The Sims 3, but we never really had like Into the Past. <laughs> generations, mic drop. Not really a fan of eco lifestyle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad, but it's also not good. I don't really go, I don't really go there as much. Oh, Witchbrook. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. I remember this game. I remember this game. Okay. Yes. Since <laughs> it was the past. Yeah, kind of story-wise. I mean, like, general, like, pack-wise, though. Like, general pack-wise. Because they had Into the Future expansion pack, but like going into the past, like prehistoric times would be really nice to see. They had general updates for the DLC, added a couple of new neat features, like six. Oh, okay. Then I'll have to check that out then and, and grab it. Also, there's a sale happening right now. 
There's a sail. I'm actually a big fan of like cuttlefish. Like I really do like their products. This is my style. This also kind of reminds me of Habba Hotel for some reason and I don't know why. If y'all remember Habba Hotel, this has like my vibe. It's been two years, but why does it feel like it's only been a year? No, um, Witchbrook is not out yet. It's still like brewing. <laughs> Get it? Cause they're witches. Um, we really thought Parenthood was supposed to be Generations. A lot of people thought it was going to be Generations as well. And I was like, no, 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 not at all. But if they did update Parenthood, I think it could be like similar to Generations. Oh yeah, Sims Medieval. I would literally do anything to get a Medieval pack in The Sims 4. And you have no idea. I love The Sims Medieval so much that I still play it to this day. But it's so good. I need to check out Eastwood. Eastward, I mean. Eastward, I need to check out and buy. But there's a sale happening right now, besties, if y'all didn't know. Which is really cool. We love a good moment of discounts. But, yeah. And Marky Mark, welcome in. How are you doing? But yeah, this one is definitely on my radar. We're going to play it on stream when it comes out. Because I want to play it so badly. Do we know if there's like a trailer or anything out yet? for it because I don't think there is but there might be something I mold it with Eastwood Eastward oh really wow parent at refresh we can only hope we can only hope I mean they did a spa day refresh so I feel like they could go back to the other game packs in the future and maybe give them a uh, nice little touch up this back on the foundation there you go. I'm actually going to like this build so much. This looks really good. Um, let's do landscaping. But the whole general build is already done. For now. You never played with Generation The Sims 3? Oh my gosh. You've been missing out, my friend. We'll have to play it next week. Because I finally got my Sims 3 game to work. Um, after it breaking on me for a couple of times. But we'll play Sims 3 next week. Because I wanted to continue my supernatural legacy that we've been playing since werewolves are coming out soon might as well play with some werewolves next week so far i don't think so okay okay so the screenshots only well hopefully we'll get more information soon at some point because i mean haunted chocolatier even though it's not really part of cuttlefish technically i still have hope like haunted chocolatier is my jam, it's my jammy jam is what I'm living for. Er day. Er day. I like that they revisit the, you would like if they revisit the get to work pack, same. Like allowing multiple Sims to work on the same location, yes. And yeah, I also do use the Sims 3 uh, Smooth Patch mod by Lazy Duchess, yeah. My issue though is that I had like multiple like duplicates of the same CC because I was merging and converting my CC that I ruined my entire Sims 3 folder. So I had to start from scratch and reorganize it. But now it's better and it runs way, way more smoothly. And Shy Shy, welcome in. How are you doing today? Witchy, Witch Brook. Why do you keep it called Witchy? Witch Brook has everything I wait that I've been looking for in a game. However, I'm going to wait until they release it on Switch. See, that's also my thing. I don't know if I want it for the Switch or for the PC. I just might get both because I'm extra like that and I just want both. <laughs> that was me with Stardew Valley. I had Stardew Valley on my phone, my Switch, and my computer, my PC. And I think I also have it on the Xbox as well. I have a problem that I am not willing to resolve at all. Oh, that would be nice. Add more places for Get to Work. I think that if they did a refresh of Get to Work, it would be very different, especially with the detective career and the retail system would be very different. And I'd be okay with that. Put this here and put this here. Oh, another game too. Ooplet is another fun game. It's a very cute um game it reminds me of pokemon a little bit 
reorganizing CC in The Sims 3 is a bit of a nightmare. Oh, it is. I cry when I have to organize my stuff because it's too much. I should just have Hobie do everything. Oh, that command is so old. I should really take off the whole 20% off thing because that's not a thing anymore. Um, but yeah, I forgot we had a command for that. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Is that link even working anymore? Does it work? Oh, that link does not work anymore. Wow. Wow. Oh. Whoa. No way. Hold up. That link is forever broken. Do not use that link. Wow. Ooplets, to be honest, is a game that feels like it really made me... Really, was really made for you. Yeah. I need to find Ooplets again because I did not fix that link at all. Here it is. That's better. Let me also take this off too. Okay. The link is now fixed. Hope we organize our CC, please. 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 Um I also feel like I'm missing something too. You got Ooplets on Early Access when it came out and they finally released the full version. Same, I got Early Access to Ooplets as well and I played it so much on stream and I really uh, adored it. I haven't played it in a while, but like it has been one of like my favorite like therapeutic games to play because it was so cute and adorable. All the little dances and things were so nice. Oh yeah, the Fire for the Career, yes. And yes, Stardew Valley does come for the phone. It does indeed. <laughs> Let your obsession arise even more but it does come from the phone you have to pay for it though that's why i feel the new harry potter game is in december uh you think the gurus have confirmed that parented is not generations because people were because i remember people thought parented was generations same same i already knew i knew wholeheartedly it was not going to be something for generations or the vibe wasn't going to be the same because it just didn't it didn't scream generations to me at all I was like, mm-mm, this ain't Generations. We're being fooled or bamboozled. But I did like the whole, like, idea behind parenthood. Like, the detail behind it was really nice. Parenting your kids was a nice touch. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You also want to see The Sims 4 to be able to have the ability to color ceilings. You and me both. I've been literally waiting for years for that. I love that stuff in The Sims 3. So having that in The Sims 4 would be really nice to have back again. Oh, a little, like, small little uh, sitting area could be fun in this corner. Yeah, cute. Am I recording? I don't know. I was able, you want to be able to edit the ceilings on houses? Same. So I think that most of the houses just deserve a change of scenery on the ceiling, especially, like, hospitals and you know other things because what if you want to make the hospital ceiling look nice and friendly or welcoming or whatever or your house has this nice 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 dark brown color for a ceiling yeah the sims 2 and the sims 3 had it the sims 1 did not exist with that at all it was basically non-existent and also the funk phenomenon welcome in how are you doing today I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening. Welcome in. Some of your builds really could really use a little ceiling coloring. It's you and me both. I need at least some something to work with. I want to change it up a bit. Give it some variety. Give it some flavor. The making the mess feature is your least favorite thing about parenthood. Yeah. But it does help with an aspiration and with challenges, at least, because I'm not joking with the Not So Berry Challenge. I had to have um, a perfect parenting skill or I had to max a parenting skill, basically. And the only way to do it for like teenagers was to discipline them or the only way to discipline kids is to like have them make messes all the time, which caused frustration and suffering. But at least you're able to like ground them or tell them to do something to clean it up and then they build responsibility and vice versa. Oops. Tile ceilings, yeah. 
Wooden ceilings would be nice. Yes. Auto roofing. That's a dangerous thing. I never want to see auto roofing ever again. I don't know why, but auto roofing just seems so daunting. Because I've always said this, like however you build your house is how your roof is going to look. And the game does not do you justice. It will do you dirty on so many levels with auto roofing. I'm not joking. Sims 3 had that. Sims 2 had that. And I was not pleased. I was like, get this out of here. Oh yeah, the doctor toy from the from Parenthood. If you play it enough, your Sim kids might want to become a doctor when they grow up. That quote's mean, daft daft. Also, Hopey, thank you for hanging out with us and modding for us. I appreciate it. Your internet is still dying since I use it all this month. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Have fun. Stay safe. See you next time. As of always. I have unlimited Wi-Fi from AT&T. I've only ever had a, well, no, it's a lie. I've had Charter and like other services, but AT&T was made better for me. Oh, I have these ones over here. Oopsies. Oopsies. Uh, literally watch one of your child Sims do that in the restaurant while his mom cracked jokes with his father was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Mood. Um, oh, I like the yellow Teletubby one. Yellow Teletubby, yellow Teletubby. Yellow Teletubby, yellow Teletubby. Everyone vote in the poll. The poll is wonderful for all of us. It's a poll that I think everyone should vote in and choose the right one. You get billed and at least, and it resets tomorrow, so it should be fixed by tomorrow. Oh, good. Good. Wait, is this the right height for the half wall? I might switch it out. I also think tonight, I don't know what I'll have for dinner. I have food in my fridge. Also, does anyone else have like this issue with their with their life? They go into the kitchen, open up the fridge, and then close it, and then go sit back down in their living room? Because that happens to me every single day. I'm not joking. I always am always hungry, but then I look at my fridge, and I'm like, there's nothing in here to eat when in doubt there's a full fridge of food but i just don't want to cook it <laughs> is this the right height is this the right one no this one here we go but see you later hobie though um anyone know what a moon caster is i don't know what a moon caster is i would assume it'd be it would be what werewolves are called or like another way to call a werewolf a mooncaster. I'm sure you talked about this, but how are you talking about werewolves? Oh, I'm excited about werewolves. But we were talking about like earlier in the stream, and we still are because topics arise. Um, but I am very, very excited for it. I'm personally very curious on how they're going to interact with the other occults, especially how toddlers and children will act. Because in the trailer, it looked like one of the toddlers had werewolf tendencies of Halloween. So I'm very curious on how that's going to like come about. Um, werewolf looks, werewolves look like the movie Cats. Okay, I saw a meme about that on Twitter today and I just busted out laughing because that was hilarious. You strongly, strongly dislike Teletubbies, so do I. But yet I have two costumes from that show. Why? Charity. I have the yellow one and the red. No, I have the yellow one and the purple one. The Teletubby gave you nightmares, honestly, especially the yellow one. But that was also my favorite. I did like Teletubbies growing up, but then got very creepy over the years. I'm like, what is this buffoonery? I do not understand yay my clip one the fridge is a save point true true um oh the one thing about parenthood though i do love is the kitchen and and the kitchen furniture because the fridge is wonderful in the open fridge and close close it knowing what's already in there is in your dna true and like the fridge is like, like you said, brick is your save point. You go into the kitchen, you save, 
and then you come back out. And it's just sad. It reminds me of like um, GTA San Andreas. You go into the kitchen to go save your game. It's kind of funny. Poof, not hungry. Welcome to adulthood, my friend. <laughs> but that has been happening to me all my life though. And I'm like, why am I always so hungry? Because I'm not eating properly. You're watching three streams at once right now. Oh my gosh. The poll was rigged. Not really. Also, the 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 clip you'll see is not what you think. You love the purple Teletubby? Um, excuse me. No, I did not rig it. I just simply stated my opinion. You remember having watched Teletubbies, but I don't remember anything about it. I just know that they had a TV for a belly, and that concerned me on so many levels as to why that was a thing. I feel like I should probably take this out. I'm going to take this out. Use that right here. I didn't say no. I simply just stated what I said out loud. I would never vote in a poll. Never. Also, it looks like I don't have my debug. Better. No. Wait. Oh. And I don't want to restart my game to do all this work. Fine, I'll just do what I need to do. I'm not going to grow anyway, so it'll be fine. Your power went out. Wait, your power was out for weather for six hours last week? I threaten my family not to open the freezer. Food goes bad in the fridge in four hours. Food in the freezer can last two to three, two, one to two days. It can. I'm not joking. When you go into that kitchen and your power is out, you best be knowing what you're supposed to get. Like, you have to know what you have to get out of the fridge so you don't stand there for hours. Because that food will go bad very quickly. You are correct. I'm actually hungry right now. I'm going to go downstairs <laughs> uh, to close it and not eat anything. P mood. I might make noodles. I don't know what I'll eat today. I didn't eat a lot of food earlier. No, no. See, I really want my... You know what? Baby dot. Wait, wait. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Did I do it right? <gasps> Why? Did I do it right? Wait a minute. No, wait just a darn minute. Did I do it right? I don't know if I did it right. Mm. It's fine. I don't need my debug right now properly. I love that English command. It's so nice, isn't it? I love that. It's in every single language for people to understand. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla, for that. <laughs> um, uh, ready to sleep, but still uh, having an hour over. Wait, I can't read, but still have over an hour left. Oh, good, good, good. But yeah, I'm an English only stream because if you don't speak English, I won't know what you're saying. And if it's not in English, I'm assuming you're calling me a very bad word and calling me something very, very, um, not great. So we say I would appreciate English if you can. If you can. Um. You can read the Chinese one? Cool. Yeah, so my friend Simsy, little Simsy, has a command, uh, for English- an English command because a lot of people in our chat tends to not speak English or type in English. So, I don't know. I don't know what half of the stuff you're saying, so I'm very confused. So I cannot respond to any of that. Kenya, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome in. What voice is what voice? What? What? 4K? You had to go, we well, had, can I read words? Wow. You had went grocery shopping and you were upset. Your hubs bought 10 16 pound bags of ice to save all the food. 
had gotten that morning. Six, ten, sixteen pounds of ice. That's a lot of ice. I mean, hey, at least keep it at cold, though. So that means that's... Hopefully it works. You put ice in the washing machine to bunker down the hurricane before. Oh. Would you say ice works? What voice is what voice? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I am confusion. Okay. Groceries for some people is a lot of food. Yeah. That does sound like a lot of food. At least, at least hopefully everything lasted long enough and, and you were able to do something with it because I don't know if I would be able to do all that. Like, that's a lot of ice. I would be scared it would melt, though, is the thing. That would be my concern. It would melt. And then what would we do with all the ice? Let's do more of these. Ice to keep drinks cold in Florida during the hurricane can be useful. True, Florida is notorious of being hot. You got a point there. So that makes sense. Especially, like, I mean, I guess I should probably get ice for myself, too. Because in Illinois, it's unpredictable. You never know what you're going to get. Like, we usually have all four seasons in, like, one day. I'm not joking. Dabney can, can testify this to the T. The Midwest is awful for its weather. This is what I needed. I needed these hedges. Or get some coolers before it hits and put ice in it. True. Hmm. There we go. This is what I needed. I needed these hedges. And you're doing good. You just picked up two of the foster kitties with eye issues. I'm gonna give them a warm bath and make them uh make sure they have full bellies. <laughs> so adorable. Wait, that's so cute. What's so funny though? We were just talking about a cat Instagram that I follow. And I find it very hilarious that I follow this cat Instagram. It's called Cats and Kits. Here it is. It's just a bunch of cute cat photos and, and memes of cats that I just love. Kansas sucks. Illinois, the Midwest is just out of, out of control. They don't need to do this. They don't need to do what they need to do. Like... Get with the program. I did not authorize this weather. You did not consult with me. Consult with me or I'm suing you. Like, what is this weather doing? It makes no sense. Did they authorize to my lawyer? No. Will I do it next time? Probably not. Will I sue them and cry about it? Maybe. Mainly just cry about it. Not sue because imagine suing the weather we would lose on all on all accounts. Arizona's hot all the time. You walk outside in fall at 2 a.m. and instantly start sweating. Oof. That's a mood. Oh, here's a plant. It's right here. My bougie's out here. We're here. Okay. Uh, you know, panda Instagram is really fun. Panda Instagram. It's interesting. Like, look at this. I think this is adorable. Cat and kits. I want to scream. As a corporate level travel agent, travel agent, I really wish the weather would consult with us sometimes, right? Like, give us, you know, a, like a couple weeks notice or like, you know, a couple hours so we can prepare. Because this unpredictable, like in the spur of the moment, spontaneous, it's not working for us right now. You're not using depot plants because it's not a viable a lot. Well, the thing is with the fact that I'm not using debug landscaping is because it's not enabled in better build and buy, which to enable it, I'll have to restart my game, which I don't want to do. Um, a house less person found and bought them, wait, bought one of them. To the vet we work with, thankfully our rescue had space for them right now. Oh, good. It's a video of pandas just being uh, incredibly clumsy and cute. Ah. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so adorable. Ah, I want to cry. See, I, I, I love cats, but I can't have a cat myself because I know I'm going to... I 
I can't. I just simply can't. Okay, but why does this look like like Kayla's cat, Snap? But you know what's also very funny, though? Kayla has Rottweilers at her parents' house. I might. I sent you a video on Instagram so you can see the pandas. Oh, thank you. But yeah, why did... This is funny. I don't know. Anyway... Cats are adorable. I think they're very hilarious to look at, especially when they're cat kittens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that to Kayla. Um, what is happening? Is that snap? Maybe that's snap. It might be snap. <laughs> Okay. Since Victoria's cat vibes, I have all three. I can share. Very good. Okay. Back to what I was doing with my landscaping. Yeah, I'm gonna have to re-enable my debug thing later on and finish the landscaping at a later date. But for now, we've got no time. It's been a very slow day, I find. Using to me, thank you. I have it on my phone. I'll check it later. I'll check it later. Let's see. There's another thing I have. Here it is. These things. One here. One there. One there. Make it a little bit more luscious and more luxurious. These are right here. Yeah, this one right here. One right here. Some of the landscaping I do just makes no sense to me at all. But I make do with what I have. The plant tree right here, one right there. There we go. Perfect. So you don't use the actual cheat because of it, but I organized debug. I wish I could use that mod, but it breaks my daughter's game. We use our game separately. Yeah. Yeah, it breaks like it breaks something where I can't use it because it's a part of the mod. So I'm just like, oof. Because I don't have... Because mm, what is the cheat code again? Because I don't remember what it is at the top of my head. I don't remember what it was. But I think I'm going to literally finish this hospital later. But at least we kind of like figured out everything. I Well, <laughs> kind of a little bit. I figured out my hospital layout inside on both levels. I got a little house over here. So I've got what I wanted. But we're going to do the clip of the day though, besties. Clip of the day. Our next small build will be a vet clinic on that one lot, which I'm very excited about though. That'll be my next build. Oh, shouldn't in objects. Okay. Let me see. see here hmm I don't know on those three oh oh well there's my plants that I want okay well now that I know that okay good I will just have to re-enable this for next time um but good to know I know it's so small I'm I build small every day I build small. I'm a small builder. Teehee. 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 I'm a small builder. Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? Oh my god. Wow. It's so small. <laughs> it's been a day. I'm loopy. I'm loopy. I think I need food in my system and I'm overwhelmed. Teehee? Teehee? 
anyway, um, we have a lovely clip of the day that I want to show you today, my friends. <laughs> Oops. I didn't oopsies. You know who scares me? Thomas the engine. Thomas the train is horrifying. I have seen memes upon memes and I'm scared. I'm really scared. But we have a clip. This was last year? Wait, was this really last year? Why do I feel like that was like two years ago? Maybe it was last year. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, telly tubbies, telly tubbies. But I have this costume and I find it quite lovely. Void for no reason. Ah. Ah. Chaos. Oh, wow. This looks weird. <laughs> I wanted to die. <laughs> Wait, why did you show your mom that photo? Also, Deb, I still question why you showed your mom a photo oh, no, of me no, in that costume. So <laughs> oh my gosh, how are you doing today, Deb? That's what I want to know. Go to the imaginary stock fridge? Yes. Because you can? Oh my gosh. Everyone already thinks I'm a weirdo. And now your mom thinks I'm a weirdo. This is not what we need. This is not what I want. This is not what I plan. I just gotta say. I do not understand. Something is really, something is not right. Something's really wrong. And we gotta get back where, where things belong. We can do it. So we can stick to the status quo. Um. <laughs> anyway, I mean, you said... You said it, not me. Well, anyway. Anyway, Bessie, it's a quote of the day, though. Shall be to him is 194 gigabytes. Wow, that quote has really aged a lot. <laughs> Wait. Is Hobie still here? That quote's old. That quote is really old. It's been, it's been a year. Wait, it says, wait, what year is that? That says, oh my, wait, literally almost a year, a year from today, technically, because it says June 21st, 2021. That is so funny. That is funny. Hobie, I think now has like over 300 gigabytes of custom content and mods in The Sims 4 alone. That has aged so much. Oh, wow. Hobie has grown. Hobie has grown the folder to the ends of the earth to where we cannot see it anymore because it's probably far gone to our eyes that cannot see. Yeah, he left early, but his at's still there. So, oh, well, he doesn't need to know. He doesn't need to know whatsoever. Oh, you think he's up to 203? Oh, well, I think he was up to like 300 something. No, no, no. But that's still a lot though. In like a whole year, collecting over 100 gigabytes of CC, that's a lot. That's a lot. But we have so many quotes. We're almost at 2,000 quotes actually um, in the spring squad, which is really exciting. Um, but besties, we're going to go show some love over to my good friend, Egg Babe, who is having some real gay baby hours, which we love. And I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming they're playing a legacy challenge at the moment. Um, and we love a good legacy, as we always do. And so I think it's quite lovely. And it's Pride Month. And Egg actually recently graduated. So that's kind of exciting. Graduating from university is always fun because college is um, uh, detrimental to our mental health, as we all know. College, Dab, you know, you've been through it not once but twice and a little bit longer, that it's um, terrifying. Mm-hmm, yeah. College is icky. Icky. But yeah, anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. I will be here at 6 p.m. Central Time. And we are going to be actually doing our fun little plans of what I like to call, if I can ever pull up my own schedule on time, um, 
Oh yeah, tomorrow we are playing The Sims 3. No, no, we're playing The Sims 2 Rags to Riches with our lovely Sim struggling help to continue our Rags Witches playthrough. So I'm very, very excited for that. <laughs> and then Saturday is our new Shell Room Challenge. So that should be really, really fun. But anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Have fun, stay safe, be, be true, and goodbye. Peace. <laughs> Ha ha ha.